Good morning. What's going on, Evans? What's going on, Sheila? We got John. We got Eric. We got Blake. What's up, everybody? Good morning. My glasses. I can't find my glasses. What's going on, everybody? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who we've got in the chat. Or another one. Another wonderful day on Amazon Live. Blake, I heard you won some... I heard you won. I heard you won. Is this true, Blake? Is this true? So excited! What did yo hear? I don't know what yo heard. What did yo heard? I heard you won the, uh, what is it called? Uh, dang it. What is it called? The Eufy security smart drop. I heard you won that. Is that true? Is that true? Don't lie to me. Yeah, that, that, that's freaking awesome. Now, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody's weekend? What did you guys do this weekend? Did you guys find anything cool? I was going to ask if anybody won any giveaways this weekend, but Blake already, Blake already did. Blake already did. I need to go get my glasses. I can't read very well right now. You transplanted a cactus in Canada. That's how I know you're lying. The real winner is Eric S. It was a good week for some. Yeah, she like get it. I just hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Good morning, Alley Cat. Good morning, Alley Cat. So now I need to know like what what big giveaways do we have? I think we still have the uh Exo. Exo. Justin, can you share me the link to Exo? Or whatever it is that we're giving away. I can't remember what it is. Oh, look. The sun's coming up. I think I might be getting sick. I just realized that. Maybe we're good. No, maybe we're good. Maybe. Morning, cool shopper. Exa. Exa. That's what it is. All right. So we've got two giveaways. We've got the... Exa Air Comfy S Super Light Gaming Headset plus W1 RGB stand. Uh, ends on 10.8. And then we've also got the Obsbot Meet AI Tracking Webcam. Ends on 10.22. Ends on 10.22. Oh, and I got them on Discord. This is awesome. This is awesome. But anyways, uh, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I know it's super early in the morning. But we're here. We're here and we're ready to party. That didn't have the that didn't have the oomph that I wanted here. We're here and we're ready to No. We're here. Our bank accounts cleared. And it's time to buy some products. No, okay, one, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> We're here. And. Yep. Yep, that was it. That, that one, chat, that was a good one. That was a good one. I hope everyone's having a great day. So the first product in the carousel, we're going to come back to that because I need to go get my glasses. Uh, it's the Sony ZV-1 uh, digital camera. Uh, we will come back to this, and I will showcase it to you guys here soon. Amazon customer with a follow. Uh, please validate me live by looking at the cactus. Okay. It's a nice cactus. 
That's a nice cactus. We're here. That cactus is mint. And I'd rather be playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland. You had it since like 2007? Dude, that's at least four years ago. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, chat. Well, let's go ahead and start off today strong. What? Let's go ahead and start off today's uh, stream strong by taking a look at this newer wide angle lens compatible with the Sony ZV-1. Uh, so this will turn it because the lens on the Sony ZV-1, this camera right here, you can't take it off. So you can't get a wide angle lens or you can't get a macro lens if you want one. You have to be able to uh, attach something to it, which is what this newer wide angle lens does that's what it be doing al i'll post what's up rover what's up rover oh rover oh rover rover he never comes over blake Blake, I don't know what rhymes with Blake. Rake and steak. And take and bake. Shake and bake, Ricky Bob. Shake and bake. Lake, flake, fake, steak, take, bake, shake. And I never will, Nate. Well, all right. Well, that's just. What the heck is this, Justin? Justin, what is this? This is not the right product at all. At all. Not even close. What did you do? Hold on, chat. Justin's out here making me mess up. I'm messing up. Here we go. Here we go. I've got the right one. Oh, fine. I'll do it myself. I don't even know what that's from. I know it's from something, though. Nate almost rhymes with Blake. Yeah, it does. Wow. We're smart. We really are smart. How do, how do I send you a picture of my cactus? <laughs> Where everyone's exchanging cactus photos today. This is awesome. I love this. I don't have a cactus picture to share. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am super excited to talk about something that I honestly didn't even know that you could do. So if you guys are familiar with my videos at all, you guys might know that I am a huge fan of the Sony ZV-1. So you guys can see right here that I have my Sony ZV-1, and now while this is an absolutely amazing camera with almost zero flaws, the only downside to it is that it does not have interchangeable lenses. So being able to get some of those macro shots or being able to get some of those ultra-wide shots, you can run into issues with it just being that it doesn't have those interchangeable lenses. So what I want to show you guys today is this newer LA S18 HD wide angle and macro conversion lens. So this is basically just going to go over your existing lens on the Sony ZV-1 in order to give you those macro or ultra wide shot capabilities. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this works and I will get it installed for you. So before we jump in, I'm going to show you guys every single thing that comes with it. So you guys can see that right there you have the box. You guys are going to get instruction manuals on how to install this. It's very straightforward, and I'll just show you guys exactly how to do that. So we'll go ahead and set that down. You are going to get a cover cap right here. You're going to get a lens cover right here, which is very nicely made. You're going to get a little carrying case so you can carry everything with you and keep it nice and protected with that nice newer branding right there, too. And this is a super soft touch material as well. You are going to get an Allen key because you're gonna need this to get it tightened down. And then you are going to get the lens itself. So you guys can see right here that it looks like it comes apart in two different pieces, and that's because it does. So if you guys want to use only the macro lens capability, all you have to simply do is just unscrew this. And so what you're gonna do now is you're going to take this piece and your Sony ZV-1, and you are basically just going to slide it over the existing lens on your Sony ZV-1. 
and then you want to tighten this portion down right here. You definitely do need to make this pretty tight because in my testing, I noticed that if you don't have it tightened down enough, all it's going to do is just fall off with a simple pull. So don't be afraid to tighten this down quite a bit. I already have it tightened down a significant amount just from my initial testing. And then once you have that installed, you can see this is the portion that we are on now. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and grab the lens that you want. So if you want to do just macro, all you have to do is take the macro lens and then you are going to screw it onto the base that we just installed like this. So the threads on this are super fine. So if it feels like you're spinning it for a long time, don't worry, it is going to tighten down. So now we have macro capability. Right now, this is the macro lens, but if you want to do the ultra wide lens, that's going to screw onto the macro lens that we just installed like so. Again, super fine thread, so if it feels like you're spinning it for a long time, it's because, I mean, honestly, you kind of are. But you guys can see that once we have it all the way installed, it honestly looks like we installed an entire new lens. It looks very nice. If you do get this dirty, all you want to do is simply just wipe this off with the included cleaning cloth and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and just show you guys what this looks like without the lenses and then with the lenses themselves. So you guys can see that I have my picture in frame right now. Now this is with the ultra wide lens. So if you guys pay attention, whenever I pull off the entire unit, you guys are going to notice right there that we lose a ton of visibility. If we slide this back over it, as you guys can see right there, it opens up the range for it tenfold. One of my favorite things about this, like I said before, is just the fact that I'm now able to do ultra wide shots. So your ultra wide shots are gonna be really good for those panoramas, or if you guys wanna do time lapses of the sky, you're definitely gonna to wanna to try the ultra wide lens. Now I'm just gonna unscrew the ultra wide lens and leave on the macro lens, as you guys can see right there. And this is the best macro lens I think I have ever used, especially for an attachment macro lens. So just to show you guys how well this works, we'll switch back over. So you guys can see that right here, it is severely out of focus. And that is because this is a super macro lens. So if I go ahead and grab the instructions right here, you guys can see that as I get closer, it is very, very, very close. You guys can see that this is just an absolutely amazing set. So if you guys have been looking for a new way to upgrade some of your shots or just get different shots that you otherwise normally wouldn't be able to with the Sony ZV-1, definitely check out the newer LS18. It's absolutely incredible that you're able to just install it. Super simple to do. So like I said, if you guys have been looking for something like this, definitely check it out. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. All righty, chat. We're all Gucci. We're out here. Didn't get banned. Can't get banned. What's up? I'm just kidding. The, the stream just goes dead right now. Is it only for Sony or for any camera? So the fitting, so the fitting on it is designed for the circumference of, uh, for the circumference of the Sony ZV-1. So I don't know how well it would work with any other camera, because while you you can tighten it down. There's not a lot of wiggle room before you tighten it down, so it might not fit perfectly over. I'm not going to say it will. It, there's no way it'll ever work for another camera, uh, but I wouldn't trust it. Uh, I would not trust it. So if you guys do have the Sony ZV-1, which if you don't, you should definitely check it out, then you should check out the newer N1. Oh, okay, yeah, you should definitely check that out. Uh, so the next product is the Amazon Echo Show 5. I just filmed a review for this the other day. Not even that long ago. Just the other day. Uh, the Echo Show 5 Smart Display. Here we go. Once upon a time not long ago when people wear pajamas and live life slow. What's up guys, Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the Amazon Echo Show 5. So this is a five inch version oh, well, yeah. of the- I didn't even realize the price on this. Yeah, Justin, you're right. It's normally $85, chat, down to 35. This is $50 off. Yeah, no, I did not realize that, geez. The Echo Show series, and this is awesome. So I have the Echo Show 8, which is a little bit older. This is D5, so we're just gonna take a quick look at everything this offers. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what Alexa does, Alexa gives
Sheila, you like literally just bought one or you've had one. Gives you the option to control all of your different smart home products. It's going to give you the option to be able to view security cameras if you do get a show. It's going to give you the option to look up the weather, track your orders, play music, really just anything that you want. The Echo Show 5 is going to be like your own personal assistant. So taking a look, it's a very simple design. There are speakers all the way around it. This does need to stay plugged in. You guys can see we have the little white cable right there plugged in. And the screen on this is actually very vibrant and nice. Now you have a few different options on here in terms of features and also turning off the mic. So if you push this red button up here, this is going to mute the mic. So if you don't want Alexa listening in or picking up your voice every time you say Alexa, you can just push that red button. You're going to have a camera because what you're able to do is pair this with the Amazon Alexa app. That way you can drop in from anywhere in the world and take a look at what's going on with the camera off, which puts a physical cover over it, which is really awesome. You get a little indicator there. So if we go ahead and swipe down from the top, you can see you have a ton of different options right here. So if you have smart home products, you can go over here into smart home. It's going to load up all of the different smart home products that you have paired with Alexa, which is really nice. So you can control them all there from one little hub. This would be really good for a nightstand or maybe an end table next to your recliner. So you guys don't have to get up. You can just control everything right from here. The future is now. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually tell her to play sleep sound. So if you had this on your nightstand, you can do something along the lines of Alexa, ask sleep jar to play thunderstorms. Nice. Alexa, stop. So another awesome feature that you're able to do with this is you can track your Amazon orders. Alexa, where's my order? For Nate, lace maternity gown and maternity dress were delivered on September 27th. One more thing. In addition to deliveries, I can also tell you about past purchases. For example, you can ask, when did I order lace maternity gown? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was coming that way. I knew it. I knew someone was going to say something. Yes. And also, by the way, I looked really good in that dress. Super good. Alexa, stop. And then lastly, Alexa, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow, there will be mostly sunny weather with a high of 87 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 54 degrees. That's cool. She actually gave me the forecast for the next few days the high and expected wow. lows. So this is also really cool alexa wow the forecast shut off screen so as you guys can see right there this is definitely an awesome product it's like your own little personal assistant can you show both temps at the same time f and c this stream what do you mean hey go get your dress and put it on for us <laughs> pretty woman <laughs> no, so man yeah I have stuff in my chest I am getting sick if you guys need a a new smart home device that, that's that's the one that's the one fair and square it's always going to be the one it's always been the one so uh, and $50 off $50 $50 it's $50 that's a lot off, chat. That's a lot of dollars off. Uh, so we've got the EcoFlow River Pro portable power station up next. He knows if it can show Fahrenheit and Celsius at the same time on show. If what can? Oh, like, oh, on the show. Hold on. No, that's not what he's asking. He's asking something about doing this stream. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Nope, nope, because I there's specifically a page that you go to that you select Fahrenheit or Celsius. You have a surprise winning from EcoFlow, and I don't know what it is. Ooh. 
<clears throat> You're going to have to let me know. When, and when did you win that? And when did you win that? That's awesome. Congrats. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the EcoFlow River Pro. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am super excited to showcase to you another product from a company I've worked with before in the past. And this is the EF EcoFlow River Pro. Pro. So the EF EcoFlow River Pro is one of EcoFlow's midline power banks. And honestly, saying power bank for a machine like this is kind of an understatement. This thing is an absolute unit. So let's check out on all of the features that are available with this machine. So right here on the front panel, you're going to notice that you have a ton of different options. You're going to have two USB 2.0s, a USB 3.0 fast charge, and a USB-C 100 watt fast charge, which is absolutely crazy. On the right side over here, you're going to have a 12 volt AC adapter allowing you to charge this machine from your car or charge products that use that 12 volt adapter. Taking a look at the right side, you are going to have three individually grounded 120 volt outlets. So you're definitely going to be able to power some small appliances or even big appliances for a while with this machine. And then you're going to have multiple charging options as well right here on the left side of the machine. You're going to have your standard 120 volt fast charge on the left right there and then on the right you're going to have an adapter that will allow you to charge this with solar panels now this is going to allow you to charge with a variety of different solar panels and then you're going to have kind of a little circuit breaker reset right here in the middle going back to the front usually one of my favorite features that EcoFlow decides to put into all of their machines is this flashlight right here. So it has two different brightness settings, as you can see right here. And then if you push it one more time, you're going to get an SOS flash and Morse code. So if you're straining, as you can see, this is the initial brightness, which is already very bright. We'll crank it up a notch. It increases the brightness, I'd say, by at least 50%. And then we'll just go ahead and test out that SOS right here. So definitely really cool that you have that feature in case you ever need it. Now taking a look at the front panel, we're going to look at the screen. And as you can see right here, very easy to follow and to understand this screen right here. So you are going to see the battery life, the expected charging time. You're going to see input values and output values right there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to use the USB-C 100 watt charger. Now I'm going to... Yeah, we got Romo. Stop it. Oh, wait, hold on. We got Romo's tech in the chat. What's up, my friend? Uh, who else do we got? We got Daniel, Darren. I never even said hi. To you. We're checking out the EcoFlow River Pro. That is what we're looking at right now. No, how could I? Can't believe you've done this. I can't believe I've done this. I restarted the video. No, no, no. We gotta go back. We have to go back. We have to go back, Marty. And I can't even figure it out. I can't even figure out how to go back. Watch life on this basically VC right here. I'm able to remotely control the lights on it. You can see the power levels. You can see everything that you would normally see on the machine itself in the app. And then you're going to have a ton of settings right here, such as firmware update, a help center, the car input charge level, just a bunch of features. So it's really awesome that you're able to control that through the app. So yeah, guys, this was just a quick rundown on the EF EcoFlow River Pro. This is an absolute beast, and I always say this about their products. I don't think this is something you guys should want. I definitely think it's something you guys need just in case in the event of an emergency, power outage, really anything. There's tons of things you might need this for. So if you guys have been looking for a new one, I highly recommend this one. See you on the next video. Alrighty, my friends. Yep, but I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment stream. If it's your first, Dad, look at me. I didn't mean to click that. I did not mean to click that button. <laughs> well, let's do it again. Dad, look at me. Think back and talk to me. Did I grow up according to? Finish it, Alley Cat. Finish it. Finish it. Play it and sing it. Um. Yeah, no, I totally didn't mean to press that the first time. Hey, Dad, look at me. What else do I have? What other buttons do I have that I can press?
Why did they give me this? Why would they do this? Why would they give this to me, chat? Everybody, welcome. If it's your first time here, let, let okay, okay. So now my voice cracks, apparently. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit that follow button, guys. <laughs> I don't have an end stream button. <laughs> I do. Ready? <sighs> nice. I'm I'm finally off the air. I'm off the air now. Oh, if only. So everybody can't even hear me anymore. Nobody can even hear me. Man. Well, time to get naked like I do after every single stream. <laughs> you are just kidding. Now you can cuss. Now I can cuss. My mom left for the week and I can cuss now. Yes. Dad, look at me. <laughs> now you can cuss and chew. I'm going to cuss and put chewing tobacco in. Why is my face so red, dude? Chat, I'm sick. I'm serious. I've got a I've got a bunch of uh stuff in my chest. I'm trying not to cough, but let's go ahead and continue on. We're gonna look at the uh EcoFlow Delta Max. And I know a little birdie in chat that also has this, and guess what? She thinks it's awesome. So what's up? So what's up? Dad, I cuss now. It's what all my friends do. Dad, I cuss, okay? Oh, gosh. Get out of my room. I hate you. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathana with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this portable power station from EcoFlow. This is the EcoFlow Delta Max. Now, I have worked with numerous EcoFlow products in the past, and this is one of their highest end models that is available. And this thing is an absolute True. beast. And I say Max because it definitely is Max in all aspects of its build. It's so big that it actually has dual exhaust fans. So you can see here on the back side that it has fans to bring out some of that heat. And then on the other side, it's going to have fans to bring in cooler air. And then also here on the bottom, you're going to notice that you have external power to extend the life of this with other units. And this does have a ton of charging capabilities, as you guys can see here right Wait, hold on. I got to go back. <clears throat> Bring it back. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Dad, don't make me cuss. Oh, frick. You made me cuss. <laughs> uh, Donna says, I saw on the news this morning, a guy got caught on camera trying to steal a car in his underwear. I mean, what other attire do you, what other kind of clothing do you steal a car in? Anytime I've ever stolen a car, it was in my underwear. I thought that just, I thought just that that kind of just uh, kind of of a, a part of the gig, you know? Yeah. See, Alley Cat says yes, it is awesome. She knows stealing cars in your underwear is awesome. That's just kind of what you do. Like they go, it's like they're it's like peanut butter and jelly stealing, you know, peanut butter and jelly. Um. Uh. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly. What else is there? Peanut butter and jelly. French fries and ketchup. Stealing cars in your underwear. Like, it, it, it's normal. You know what I mean? Like, this is this is America. This is what we do. This is what we do, you know? Huh. What's up, Amazon customer? You sneaky little David. You, you sneaky little individual. You. Ah, you little individual, you, you got me stuttering. Here on the front panel, you're going to have six individually grounded AC outlets with X boost, which is going to allow you to basically power small kitchen appliances and some larger kitchen appliances 
for quite a long time. And then down here at the bottom, you're going to have your standard 12 volt outlet. That's going to allow you to charge this machine from your car or charge other machines that use that 12 volt outlet. On top, you have a ton of different charging options. So on the left here, you actually have support for solar chargers and that's going to allow you to basically keep this thing up and going no matter where you're at. So if you're camping, you can definitely keep this charged and then you're going to have your standard 120 volt outlet and a little circuit breaker just in case anything goes wrong. Taking a look at the front panel here, Likewise, of all of their other machines, you're going to have some USB ports, but the cool thing about this one is you're actually going to have two USB-C 100 watt. To put that into perspective, most of your phones only charge at 25 watts, and these can output at 100, which is absolutely crazy. Turning on the screen right here, you're going to notice right there in the middle that we only have this charge to about 42%, and it's giving us an expected battery charging time of 83 hours. Now, that's obviously going to change when you plug something in, but just expected 83 hours on 42% charge is crazy. You can also see your input wattage and your output wattage right up there on the right side of the screen as well. And also one of the coolest things that EcoFlow does with all of their products is the app control of everything. So you can see right here, you can turn on and off X boost mode. You can control all of the different power cycles for each of the charging components. You can see input whenever you're charging it. There's just a ton of features in this app that allow you to control it. And then also within the set, Blake, I have a question for you. Blake, Blake, first of all, stop it. Get some help. Uh, okay, why? Uh, um, why do, okay, why do ooh girls? What is this? What is this? Somebody tell me what this is. Ooh, ooh. Like what? Oh, I hate my life that I just said it. I have to now turn into Cybertron. I am now Cybertron, a hater of self. I am Cybertron and I can no longer. Hold on. I am now Cybertron again. <laughs> Blake. Blake. <laughs> Blake. Uh, nervous habit when they are shy. So that's what this is. It's supposed to be like a, oh, like I'm nervous. Oh, like fidgeting almost. Uh, Evans is like, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm just out here chilling. Evans is like, I'm out here chilling, guys. Uh, Darren, I don't know. Washington, Washington tonight. Finally, that's what you did, Nate. No, that's what you did. Don't put this on me. Can you guys? Can you guys get get a lot of this guy in chat? Can you guys believe that? Right, right. Uh, but no, the EcoFlow Delta Max is incredible. It is a whole home. It's pretty much a whole home backup system. You can run anything in your home that you can think of, more than likely. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. If you, if for some reason you have like a particle accelerator in your home, this can't run it. If you have a toaster, it can run a toaster. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? Dad, look at me. I didn't mean to press that. Dad, look Dang at it! Me. I didn't mean to press that. Dad, look at me. I didn't mean to press that three times in a row. Hey, Dad, look at me. I cuss and I like to drink. And I'm hanging out with my cool friends. And do you think I'm wasting my time? <laughs> uh. Stop it. And do you think I'm wasting my time? Drinking Budweiser, because my cool friend Steven said it's the best one we can drink. And so he told me to steal your cash from your wallet. Now we're going to get some more cool Budweiser and girls.
I'm going to have to send you a new... I'm going to have to get you a new sound clip. Yeah, somebody get me something, because honestly, I think I need to... Stop it. Get some help. Oh, Darren, but that's what, that's what my cool friend Steven at school said. Uh, let's look at the EcoFlow River Mini now. So we looked at the Pro. Remember? Then we went to the Delta, which is big, thick boy. T-H-I-C-C -C in trap. Thick. Now we're going to the Mini Boy. Now we're going to the Mini Boy. Uh-oh. Here we go. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel uh, with Dragon weird. Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am excited to showcase to you the River Mini Portable Power Station by EcoFlow. I did a review on the Big Brother River, not the Mini, and it was awesome. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out the Mini version. The EcoFlow River Mini is absolutely jam-packed with a ton of awesome features. This machine is an absolute little powerhouse, so let's go ahead and jump straight in and see everything that this machine has to offer. So as you can see here on the front, it's pretty simplistic. A screen, some plugins. Taking a closer look at the front, you're going to notice here that you have three USB-As as well as the power switch to enable those USB ports. Also on the front on the right side, you're going to have your 12 volt AC adapter for charging or to charge the unit itself. Taking a look at the far side of the machine, you're going to notice here that you have two AC inputs. Now you might notice that you don't have a place for the third prong, but that's because this machine is grounded and you don't have to ground out the source that you're plugging in. Over here, you have your main charging port for your AC wall outlet, and then as well, you're going to have your solar charging outlet port right here, which can be used with a variety of different solar panels. To turn on the machine, you'll be presented with this gold button, and then once you turn that on, you're going to see here that your screen will light up and start showing you information. On the left side over here, it's going to have how many hours of charging you have based on the current amount of battery life. And so we can get a gauge of how much battery life this has. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to plug in my iPhone 11 Pro Max to the system to see how much it reflects with the current amount of hours and battery life available. So as you can see here, after I turn this machine on, you're going to see that I have roughly about five to four hours of charging at 28% battery life. Also on the right side over here, you can actually see the current watts that is being drawn by the device that is powered through the EcoFlow River Mini. I know that's a lot to say, but just bear with me. Can I'm just I trying calm to get down. all of my eggs in a row and kind of... Can I like shut up? To get you guys straight let's turn this down a little bit let's turn this down because this is too much you can get from it but now on to the most exciting james part. ready this in a plastic 2l so let's what's go a plastic 2l in. you could see there while i was running it it brought Edited me down that. to roughly about 11 minutes and you can see that it's drawing almost 290 oh, nice. watts of power so this machine this tiny little power adapter can basically power your blender, your TV, really? a small fridge. It can power so much, which is absolutely insane to me. All right, chat. Was that really what? Stop God, it. What? Goodness. Is that really what Budweiser stands for? And how long has that's what it stood for? Because you deserve whatever you... Oh, uh, here. here. Here's the commercial. Budweiser, because you deserve what every individual should enjoy regularly. I'm Nate, and this was a paid message sponsored by... Dad, look at me. Uh, what about Michelob Ultra? Any, anybody out here like Michelob Ultra? Hmm? Hey, look. This tooth is bigger than this one. Look. This one, bigger. That's because half of this one, this one right here, fake. It's so fake. Focus, LOL, Alley Cat. I can't. I can't focus, okay? This is the way it goes around here. I can't focus. You know this. I know this. I know this. 
you know this. Different than beer. It, it's better. <laughs> you went from anybody like Michelob Ultra to this tooth is bigger than this one. LOL, did you take your meds? Oh, don't tell me Focus has an acronym. Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I did. It's right there. Can't, can't show it. Do you know what Focus stands for? I'm enjoying the clean-ish life. Not clean, but clean-ish. I'm a one-drink drunk. You drunker, drunkerson. You crack me up. I'm having a great time this morning. I'm not even awake yet. Oh. <laughs> really? Well, then I guess you might find it hard to believe that you're actually dreaming right now, Allie. Jump out of bed and you don't believe me? Get up. Stand on your bed, put your arms out like this, and just jump straight forward with your stomach towards the ground. Watch. You'll fly because you're actually dreaming. Um, and also, by the way, on dragonblogger.com, there is a non-liability agreement that I need you to sign before you do this. But yeah. You can't just make stuff up, Darren. That's not what that means. <laughs> All right, chat, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Um, and look at this portable projector screen by Hayden's Joy. Hayden's Joy. Yes. Yeah, you can't just make stuff up, Darren. <laughs> oh, that's like an acronym, like a newer acronym. Okay. Probably a newer acronym that somebody made up. Hey, what's up, guys? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're taking a quick look at the Hayden's Joy 100-inch portable monitor. This thing's super easy to get set up and looks awesome, so enjoy the video. Oh, nice, chat. Here we go. Oh, I'm about to fall asleep. Here we go, chat. Here we go, chat. I'm getting ready for I'm re getting ready to take a nap during this video. Promise. Yeah, I didn't know that. I truthfully didn't know that. But look how good this looks, chat. If you didn't know that this was a projector, or if you didn't know that this wasn't a TV, you would think it's a TV, right? Look how good that looks. You would think that's a TV if you didn't know any better. Sounds like gorillas. Ah, forget about gorillas. They were awesome. They were awesome. Look how clear that is. Crystal clear 4K. Oh yeah, look at look at Spider-Man on look at Spider-Man at 4K chat. Look at this. That's real. That's real. Oh my gosh. Wow. GoPros are getting it. GoPros are getting kind of intense, to be honest. All right. So you guys can see that this projector screen just looks awesome. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Boom. That's the Hayden's Joy portable projector screen. But now you're asking yourself, all right, Nate, well, I've got the projector screen, but I don't have a projector to go with it. Well, guess what? Ceramic knives are better than normal knives. It's the drone that follows you. <laughs> yeah, shot live.
Shot live with the Zero uh, Zero Robotics V Copter Falcon, sponsored by Spider Man. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on. And we're going to look at the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. If you guys need a portable projector to go with your portable projection screen, ah, uh, see how it's all tying together now? Do you see? Hey, Dad, look at me. It's all making sense now. It's all making sense. Uh, this is the Mars 2 Pro. We haven't watched this one in a in a hot take. Hot minute. That's what I meant to say. Chad, I'm getting sick. I'm serious. I got like I got a I got like the scent of sick. It you guys ever get the scent of being sick in your nose? Nate, your mic really clips when you yell today. Really? Okay, I'll stop yelling. Here, let me let me first turn this down. Okay, so my levels should sound a little bit better now too. But I have like the scent of sick in my nose right now, and my chest is like it's on fire. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Man, overnight I felt completely fine yesterday. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Mars Two Pro projector. This is a projector that features a ton of features, so let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything that Anchor did with the Mars 2. So the Mars 2 is going to have an app store that is going to allow you to download your favorite apps for movies or TV shows, but on the back you have an HDMI port in case you want to plug something in. So the Mars 2 has a fantastic design. On top you have a faux leather handle that's going to let you carry this around because they did design the Mars 2 Pro in order to be a portable projector. So this does come with a remote, but if you guys lose that for some reason, you do have controls up on here such as selector wheel, back button, volume up, and Bluetooth. So the remote is very easy to use. You guys can see right here, it's a very simple design that's going to give you everything you need to control this, such as your power buttons, selector buttons, volume, home, and back. So definitely really nice. And so just talking about the projector itself, being that this is a projector, you guys might be concerned with video quality, which you do not have to because this has amazing picture quality. So what I want to do is switch over so you guys can see just how good the Mars 2 Pro looks whenever you're casting it. Whenever you first get the Mars 2 Pro loaded up, this is going to be the UI you see. It is a very simple design. You're going to have your HDMI selector, file manager, app manager, network settings, your general settings, and then you're going to have a nebula manager. And whenever you load this up, it loads very fast. That's going to be dependent on your internet, of course. But you guys can see right here that there is a ton of apps, so you're never going to run out of things to watch or enjoy with the family. And then switching over to a live view of this, you guys can see that the color reproduction on the Mars 2 Pro is absolutely brilliant, and I think it looks really nice. So what I want to do now is basically switch over to a scene that has a little bit more color and a little bit more oomph. You guys can see that all of the colors on this is just absolutely vivid and it just looks so good. Now I've said this before about Anchor in the past, but whenever Anchor makes something, they just make so it really good. good. The Mars 2 Pro, I feel, falls in a very nice place when it comes to quality and budget. So if you guys have been looking for yeah, so if you guys have been looking for a new projector to go with your portable projector screen, definitely check that one out from Anchor. I mean, it's just a fact. You rob car or you you steal cars in your underwear, you eat peanut butter with jelly, and you buy Anchor projectors when you're spending money. It's just like it's it's just known stuff that everyone does. Uh, let's go ahead and go jump back to the beginning of the stream, and we're going to take a look at the Sony ZV-1 digital camera now because it's the best camera you're going to find in this price point. So, taking a look at the Sony ZV-1. So, this is the camera that we use on the stream all the time. Multiple multiple people on the Dragon Blogger team use this camera, so I do. I know Justin does. I know James does. A ton of people do. Don't you know his name? So this is a fixed lens camera. And what I mean by fixed lens is you cannot change the lens on the camera. It only comes with this. It has a Carl Zeiss lens, which I don't know. I don't know who Carl was. Somebody let me know who Carl was. Uh, but he made good stuff, apparently. You got that nice Sony branding right up there on top. So you guys can see your aperture is 1.8 to 2.8, 9.4 to 25.7. Uh, 
up here on top, you're going to have your microphone right there. You're going to have your on off button, mode button. This is going to be your zoom right over here. And so the zoom is a optical zoom with digital. You have product showcase. So a couple ways that you can turn this on. You can turn it on right now by just pressing the on button, or you can just open this up. And as you guys can see, it will just turn on automatically. So you have no viewfinder except for the digital one that's right here. You guys can see that you have your audio meter. You have all of your settings down there at the bottom. If you scroll over here to menu, we'll flip this around all the way. Flip this all the way, all the way around. If you scroll over here to menu, you're going to have a ton of options inside of your menu. And I mean a ton. So you're going to be able to do product showcase set, focus magnifier, soft skin effect, white balance. Uh, you have flash mode, exposure comp, ISO settings, uh, video setting. I mean, you have everything, chat. Let's go to the modes. Let's go to the modes. So look at all of the different presets that the Sony ZV-1 has. So right now we're on movie, intelligent auto movie. Intelligent Auto Picture, Program Auto. You have Sweep, Panorama, Scene Selection. You can record at 960 frames per second. I'll show you that. Hold on, watch this. I'm going to show you guys that. That's It's crazy. All right. Let's put in the, let's put in the, um, wait, why am I so zoomed in? Still zoomed in. Let's put in the SD card. Let's put in the SD card. Watch this chat. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on. All right, so to shoot at 960 frames per second, you have to press this button right here. Watch this. Watch this chat. Look how slow this is. It's actually playing, I promise. Did you guys see how slow that was? So it's recording right now. Well, it's not recording. It's actually thinking about how to process 960 frames per second. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. All right, so now we go back to the play button. And we hit the play button. Chat, look how slow this is. Look at this. Watch how slow this drops. Perfect. And I mean, perfect slow motion. So if you guys are looking for, I mean, I wouldn't say top of the line, but I mean, look at all of the features I just showed you guys and look at how small this little thing is. I mean, you, how do you beat that? How do you beat that in this little powerhouse of a camera? You don't. The Sony ZV-1, it's not even close. You can hook up better mics to it. It's got external mic selection. It's got mini HDMI. It's got a spot to have a um a strap too. Uh, you can plug in better mics, like I said. You have a cold shoe mount right here. Mode selector, product showcase set. You can't go wrong with the Sony ZV-1, my friends. You just can't. Just look at. I mean, just look. It's awesome. This would make a great gift for this special someone. You know who I'm talking about. Literally only you know who I'm talking about because I don't know who's I don't know who's watching and I don't know who you think would like this. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max next. We're gonna look at the Anchor ne Nebula little, 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 little. The Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. Here we go. Once upon a time not long ago. I'm s okay. I gotta sing. I gotta sing what he just said. Hey, dad, look at me. Think back and talk to me. Did I grow up? 
according to plan. And do you think I'm wasting my time doing things I want to do? Because it hurts when you disapprove all along. And now I tried hard to make it. I just want to make Blake proud. I'm never going to be good enough for Evans. Can't pretend that I'm all right. And you can't change me because we lost it all. Nothing lasts forever. Evans, I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. I'm done. I got. I got. I gotta quit. I gotta, it, cause it's just too late, and we can't go back. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect, Evans. <laughs> we love you, your mom and I. American Idol, here we come. Uh, yeah. All right, we're done singing. Nothing's gonna change the things that you said. <laughs> Nothing's gonna make this right again. All right, we're done. See, I gotta keep you guys on your toe. You, you never know what's gonna happen on the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment stream. So hit the follow button if you want to be confused through the entire process of my show. Hit the follow button if you want to be confused. What the heck? What the heck, chat? Here we go. Hey, hey what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on, hold on, chat. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back, Chad. I gotta go check something. I got a pick em up truck, and I think I left something in the pick em up truck yesterday, so I gotta go check the pick em up truck. <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys know what it's like with pick em up trucks. And with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, today I am super excited to showcase to you yet another awesome projector from Anchor. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. This is an absolute brute whenever it comes to small form factor projectors. And being that it is Anchor, it's absolutely amazing. This is going to be a 720p projector. It's gonna have 200 ANSI lumens, a 9700 milliamp battery. So you're gonna be able to run this and watch your favorite movies, TV shows, whatever it is, just on the battery life. You don't even have to have this plugged in. It's gonna run on Android 8.1, so you're gonna have all of your favorite apps. And this is just a beast. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the review. Take a look at it up on my wall behind me because we're not gonna be using a projector screen or projector paint. We're just gonna be casting it right on the wall and I think you guys will be surprised just how good this looks. So before we actually dive in and show you guys, I just wanna show you around the projector a little bit. You guys can see right here that this is a thick boy and it is definitely very well made. Kind of this aluminum all metal housing, the speaker grill wraps all the way around it. Taking a look at the top, you're gonna have controls in case you ever lose your remote, which I definitely tend to do. On the bottom here, you're gonna have your auxiliary port, so you can use this with 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cables to plug this into a surround sound. HDMI, so you're not limited to just the apps that are on this. You can plug in your PlayStation, Xbox, your Nintendo Switch, your Blu-ray player, whatever it is. USB port right there, and then your DC power in. And on the bottom, you're going to have a little quarter inch thread right here, and this is gonna allow you to put this on a projector. Now this is 200 ANSI lumens, a 9700 milliamp battery, and it does have autofocus. Let's go ahead and get this turned on and see how good it looks. All right, so we got this all set up and we got signed in, and you guys can see that right here, this is Android 8.1, but they are running a skin version, kind of like their own proprietary I'm back. skin version. Let's see, what's up, Opal? What's up, Opal? Uh, so does anyone else think Tater Wise was choking Nate as he was attempting to sing? That's rude. That's rude. You know, 
Um, <clears throat> I was going to give you some no man's land beef jerky. Because this is the best beef jerky anyone will ever have in their life, I promise you. But now I don't know. <clears throat> now I don't know. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> gosh, I really am. I really am getting sick. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome, Opal, to the stream. Opal Henry is uh, a longtime follower of Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Probably been following longer than any of you guys. Yeah, No Man's Land chat. This is the best beef jerky you will ever have in your life. I, I, I promise you. I promise you. But it's more authentic than, like, Jack Lynx or whatever it's called. Uh, this is more authentic. So it's not going to be just, like, snap it off and you're done. It's chewy. It's tough. It's rough. And it's what I'm about. Version of it. Taking a look right here, you guys can see that you have that HDMI input selector, file manager, app manager, network settings. Inside of the settings itself, you're going to be able to go in here and manage all of these different settings. Let's go to the projector because that's what's important. Under image mode, you're going to have your options between auto, standard, and battery mode. So we'll back out of that. You're going to have color temperature settings and auto keystone correction. We'll go ahead and turn that off because I want to show you guys something that's pretty cool that you can do with this. So if you guys are casting this to multiple walls or you're just moving it around in your house and you notice the image seems kind of skewed, you can come in here and automatically yep. drag down yep. the image just so it fits your wall and is more 16. Show enough. Show enough. We got enough fire. Colin. Etzel, Hardman. <laughs> I don't know what's happening today, chat. <laughs> Thank you so much for following. You gotta chew it forever. But the flavor, I can't explain it. It's so good, chat. Hold on. Everybody in the chat right now, let me know if you've ever had No Man's Land beef jerky. Has anybody in the chat ever had No Man's Land beef jerky? I'll show you what it looks like. trying to sell it to you i'm trying to sell no man's land beef jerky to you look at this look at that looks like a scab right oh delicious hey darren fun fact you know it's actually made here in oklahoma it's actually made here in oklahoma where i live I'm surprised I'm surprised it's made it that far east. Really. Nine oriented rather than just being a skewed image. So really cool that you're able to do that. We'll go ahead and back out real quick. Now I'm gonna show you guys the app store on this. So it's not the standard app store. It is gonna be the Nebula Manager. But you guys can see that this is it and it loaded very fast. You're gonna be able to go through all of these different apps, install whatever app it is you want for your favorite movies, TV shows, whatever it is. You're gonna have Netflix and YouTube pre-installed as well as an Amazon app. Let's go ahead and load up YouTube and test out this projector. And I also want you guys to see just how fast this loads because it's incredibly quick. And you guys can see that right off of the rip, it loaded almost immediately. Now, obviously this is gonna be dependent on your internet speed as well, but the processor on your projector is gonna make a big difference and that is not going to be an issue with this projector. All right, so we have this video loaded up. One of the things I wanted to point out is you guys might notice that there's some scan lines. This is not going to be happening in real life. You guys don't see those lines at all. You guys can just see that that is only due to my frames per second on my camera, but the colors on this just pop and they just look so vibrant and true to life. And the craziest thing to me is that this isn't even using a projector paint or a projector screen itself. This is just on a gray paint on my wall and it still looks this good. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume so you guys can hear the speakers on this because I think you'll be surprised how good they sound. So you guys can see that right here, this projector is jam packed with features. As always, Anchor delivered a phenomenal projector. And honestly, I don't think I'll ever go with another brand after testing their projectors. So if you guys need a new one, definitely check this one out. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right, chat.
If you're new here, first of all, welcome to the Dragon Ball Tech Entertainment stream. I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. That's actually a friend of mine was traveling and they brought some back for me. They were out in Enid. So are you? Have you been eating it sparingly? Have you been eating it sparingly because you can't just get it again? Uh, if you guys ever want the best beef, beef jerky you've ever tasted, get No Man's Land. The flavor, Darren will, uh, Darren will vouch for this right now. Out of this world, out of this world. But continuing on, man, I hope you guys don't hear my wheezing in between my words. Um, we're gonna look at this innocent 27 inch 4K. Ultra HD monitor. I just did a review on this last week, and I'm not kidding you, chat. It's an incredible monitor. Top of the line. Top of the line. Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I could not be more excited to showcase to you this Anosin 27-inch 4K computer monitor. This is jam-packed full of features. Let's just jump right in, take a look at everything that this monitor has to offer. Upon unboxing it, you're going to notice that everything is packaged very well, and you're going to get every single thing you need and then some to get set up. And easily one of my favorite things that Anosin did whenever designing this monitor is keeping the customer in mind. Whenever you get this, all you have to do is unbox it. You will not need any tools. As you guys could see, what I just did is install the monitor arm on the base, and then I just screw it down with this little thumb screw, and then the monitor panel also just snaps onto the top of the arm. So super simple to get set up. After you get the actual panel installed on the base, this is what the finished product looks like, and I think this looks so good. Right out of the gate, Innocent pulled no punches whenever it comes to the design and the overall appearance of this monitor. It's a very sleek and modern design. And another cool thing that Innocent did is include this mini metric ruler on the base for quick measurements. Nice! The monitor has a few different points of articulation. As you guys can see, I'm pushing down on this so you are able to adjust the height. The panel is also going to rotate on the stand so you guys can angle this exactly where you want this to be. And then finally, you're going to be able to rotate this and put this into portrait mode, which always has its benefits, especially for streamers of various platforms. Honestly, at this point, I can't find anything bad to say about this monitor. I mean, just look at the bezel. If I hold my finger up to this, you guys can see it's almost non-existent. It's maybe one or two millimeters. Another cool feature that they added on the arm for the base is this little porthole so you're able to run your cables through there so they don't get tangled up everywhere. Now, if you're worried about connectivity, don't. You have two HDMI inputs, a DP input, audio, you have USB. All of the stuff you need is on this monitor. And hey, look, they even labeled the buttons so you don't have to go fishing around trying to figure out what button you're pushing. Now, continuing on, I did get this installed off camera and I set it up as my primary monitor basically the exact second I saw the screen quality on this. So like I said before, this is 4K. This looks incredible. So I'm just playing this little royalty-free video here just so you guys can see the color tone of everything. I just think this monitor looks so good. The contrast between all of the colors and the blacks that are in the background looks amazing. All of the colors pop out, and I think this just looks so good. You know, I tried my hardest to find a downside on this Anosin monitor, and I have to be as fair as possible. The only downside that I could truly find is that the Anosin monitor is only 60 hertz. So currently I'm just inside of Call of Duty. I wanted to showcase to you guys what 1080p looks like on my other Acer monitor. This is also going to be at 60 hertz or 60 frames per second. And you guys can see the details are good. You would not complain about this normally until you take a look at the Innocent monitor. So now we are over at 4K on the Innocent monitor and the difference is night and day. Everything is so much more vibrant. Even the clouds in the sky pop a lot more. The green on the trees looks so much better than it did at 1080p. All of the details on the ground, on the concrete, you can see all the different specs. If I run over here to this palette that we just looked at, you can see the wood grain texture just looks so much better at 4K than it does at 1080p. So I think the fact that this doesn't have a high refresh rate is really kind of downplayed by just how good the monitor looks in general. So if you guys have been looking for a new monitor, I think the Innocent 4K monitor for art is definitely your last stop that you should make whenever you're scrolling through trying to find a new monitor. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys later. Yeah, 4K looks incredible. What do you want me to say? 399? Hold on, chat.
Hold on, chat. Hold on. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There's a $100 off clickable coupon on that monitor right now. Which is this monitor right here. So, chat. I shared a link. Or I shared a link to this. This is actually on Amazon. That's awesome. No Man's Land Beef Jerky is on Amazon. It's right there in the chat. So if you guys are new here, first of all, don't be weird. Hit that follow button if you guys want to just be completely confused about what's going on all the time. Uh, ask my regulars. They'll tell you. They don't know what's going on. They just let it, they just let, let it go the way it, the way it does. Um, but yeah, no, that, that Enosin 27 inch 4k monitor is incredible. It looks great. I use it every day. It's right here. You guys can't see it. It's Here's me. It's right there. I'm touching it right now. I'm actually touching it. Look. See, I'm touching it. He touched the button. Let's see what's up next. You guys just got a bad, you just got a really bad A. I can't say it. Really bad A computer speaker. I mean, computer monitor. Now you need some really bad A computer speakers. Then you're going to have to check out these Edifier G2000 gaming speakers. Cause they're top of the line. You're close. Yeah, I almost said it. I almost said it. I almost got grounded forever. I would have gotten grounded forever. I know it. Hey, that's not the video. Here we go, chat. Here's the video. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I'm super excited to showcase a product from a company that I have longed to work with again for a long time. This True. is the Edifier G2000 gaming speakers. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start this video off by just simply unboxing it. The first thing you're going to notice right here is you're going to get this little instruction and warranty manual right there. Continuing on, you are going to get your power adapter. Now these do have to be powered by this DC power port. And then you're going to also get your USB-A to USB-A connection. And then you're obviously going to get the speakers themselves. And in typical Edifier fashion, these speakers look absolutely awesome. There's nothing too gimmicky about them. They just look really clean and simple. And then on the left side of the left speaker, you guys can see here that you have the power button and a mode selector to switch between movie, music, and game mode. So really simple to use those features right there. And to get these set up, all you have to do is plug in the USB-A. You know, Darren, you know, Darren, thinking about it, I don't think No Man's Land, and I hate to keep going back to beef jerky for some reason. Uh... This isn't the beef type of beef jerky you finish in one sitting, because it's kind of like tough. I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me. I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into the place. You wanna love me? Now I'm sure you guys can hear in the background how loud those speakers are. And honestly, I've worked with Edifier in the past, and the craziest thing to me, just looking back at the past videos, is Using these speakers now remind me how good Edifier is. I mean, crazy. have it these are the edifier g2000 gaming speakers they sound absolutely awesome i highly recommend them and i will see you guys on the bam those 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 computer speakers chat knock them out they 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 knock them What a beautiful morning. Mike Prophet just swallowed. Let's see, 
knows what up. What a beautiful day. Wow, so many followers today. I know we're getting all the followers. We're like super popular out here, man. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Faustino doesn't. Uh, hold on, I missed something. And if you haven't hit that follow button yet, smash it. <laughs> smash. Uh, because if Dragon Blogger hits 10,000 followers by Halloween, I will give away an autographed ESPF series card from the 2006 Family Values Tour. So that's pretty cool. And if you guys needed one other reason to follow, bam. Maybe, maybe there's another reason to follow. Uh, the next product is this little guy right here. Boom. The Tor Box Neo. The Tor Box Neo. So this is a video editor's tool. This is a video editor's tool that gives you a ton of buttons, clicky clacks, pushy packs, and uh, nicky knacks. I'm going to explain it better in the video, so let's go ahead and switch over and take a look at that. But yes, Mike Prophet, welcome to the gun show. Bam! Oh, I pulled the most. Yeah, I'm definitely going to explain it better in the video. It's a video editor's tool. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome little controller. This is the Torbox. So the Torbox is designed with video editors or graphic designers in mind. This is a little box with a ton of buttons, and what this is designed to do is replace your current workflow setup and make everything as streamlined and as simple as possible. And the way the Torbox aims to achieve this is by all of these little buttons that can spin, can click, can turn. They do all of these different things which are completely programmable inside of the software, which we'll go over here in just a little bit. Taking a look at it, it's a very simple setup. Kind of just looks like a souped up console controller. It does all of this by interfacing over USB-C with your Windows or Mac computer. Whenever you have it plugged in and ready to go, it'll indicate a little green light. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at the software you can download from the Torbox website. If you look here, you'll notice that over on the left, we have all of these different presets. So it comes pre-installed with Photoshop Lightroom, Premiere. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Jennifer. <laughs> ASMR chewing with Monday morning Nate. <laughs> I can't believe you guys just sat there and didn't call me out on that. Like, can you please stop? We're just watching you chew. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you're having a great day so far. Premier, Premier Color. I went ahead and installed Vegas because that is the software that I use. Formerly known as Sony Vegas, I use Magix Vegas now. If you look through all of these buttons and everything on the right, you'll notice that you can control everything. Now, while setting up all of your different controls for all of your different macros and buttons, you're able to actually press the button. It'll highlight what it does now, and then you're able to change that to do whatever you want it to do later while you're in the software. So now we have Vegas loaded up. So the preset for Vegas that I downloaded from the Torbox website is actually user defined. And whoever set this up, set this up to where the center scroll wheel zooms in and out my timeline for more precise editing. This little knob here on the left that can spin, which also clicks by the way, is going to allow me to scrub through my video and it's reflective on how fast I'm speeding through it. This little wheel on the top left is set up to jump from the front of my timeline or to the beginning of my timeline. If you want it to, it can also jump to the back of the timeline for quicker access. You're also able to program all of these buttons down here at the bottom. 
One thing that I find myself doing on my normal setup is splitting the video. So the bottom right key on the tour box is set up to do that, which makes it a lot easier to split my video so I can delete out unnecessary parts. The top right key, the preset has this set to be able to render your loop region, which makes editing just a little bit faster. And whenever you're finally complete with your process, you're able to do that. So once you get your muscle memory down and get over the learning curve, I think the Torbox has, video editors and graphic designers will find this to be an amazing tool for expediting their workflow. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thank you for checking out the video and I'll see you guys later. So. So. You want to be a video editor? <laughs> Hold on. So, you want to be a video editor, huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. So, you, you want to be a video editor, huh? My cousin was a video editor. Yes, it is true. This beef jerky does take a long time to chew. Hmm. Well, look here, see? <laughs> ah, look here, see? Come over here and show me how bad you want to be a video editor. Oh, see? <laughs> I'm trying to finish my skit and I can't because I'm still chewing the same piece. I started this piece before I, I, I stopped the video. Ah, look here, see? So you want to be a video editor, eh? Hmm. Well can't very well be a video editor without the tour box. <laughs> Chat, I don't know why you guys allow me to do the things I do. And I'm, I'm so happy that Faustino knew exactly what I was going for. <laughs> Maybe I should be an actor. I think I could be one. Somebody give me something to act out. Ooh. Faustino, look at the lighting on the on the dresser right now. Look at that lighting. That is so artsy. That is so What's the word I'm thinking of? Aesthetic. The aesthetic of that lighting. Faustino, you know, have you ever had no mint? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say where you live, but I know what state you live in. You've probably had it. Oh, my gosh, Wiley. You can't just come in here dropping. You can't drop that. <laughs> ah, you want to drink coffee, do you? Uh, cannot drink coffee. Last week, I suffered heavy... Couldn't eat and drink nothing for almost a day and a half. Gladly a much better day if I have a drink. Chamomile infusion instead of coffee. Hey, I'm glad you feel better. And I'm glad and I'm sorry that you went through that. That's rough. But you want to be a video editor, huh? What's up, Wesley? Wesley just hit us with a follow. Wesley knows what's good. Everybody welcome Wesley to the stream right now. Dad, look at me. Wesley started following because he knows that dragon bloggers are super cool. <laughs> uh, no, all jokes aside, chat, all jokes aside, the tour box Neo really is um, incredible. It really is incredible. You can, this doesn't have to be used for video editing. Faustino, what would you do with something like this? Be, be honest. What would you do with something like this in your experience?
or in your line of work. You can use it for whatever you want. Shortcuts. You can probably somehow use it with games. You can program it that way. It's just a keyboard. That's all it really is. Um, the Anchor Soundcore Mini is up next. Ah, you want a tiny Bluetooth speaker, huh? I'm just looking over there at my product shelf because I'm sure I have it. You want a tiny Bluetooth speaker? I'm going to rage. Uh, all right, apparently I don't have it. I know I know it's somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, my friends, but I don't know exactly where. Uh, F's in chat. F's in chat. Hey, if anybody ever wants to I I know I keep talking about beef jerky. I promise you, as long as I, as long as you chew this, there's flavor throughout the entire chew process. I guess you could say. If you want a chance to win some no man's land beef jerky, I'll talk to Justin. I'll talk to Justin because it's on Amazon. It's legitimately on Amazon. So maybe like, maybe we can do a giveaway for some no man's land beef jerky. You got it. You would have to be in the U.S. It do be on Amazon. Yeah, put an F in the chat if you'd like to try to win. Um, I'm not saying we're going to do it. I'm just going to talk to Justin and be like, hey, chat says they want to try some beef jerky. It's on Amazon. So can we give it away? You know, I got to ask him like a kid that's asking if his friend can stay the night. Listen, if you ask, he'll say no. But if I ask, she might say yes. So... Uh, the Anchor Soundcore Mini is the next uh, product that we're going to take a look at. Where is it? Where are you? Anchor. Anchor Soundcore Mini. I know you exist within the proximity of my home. I would suggest you come out with your hands up. If you do not come out with your hands up, I will be forced to play a video. Please come out with your hands up. Faustino's going to make fun of me now. This is true. Hold on, chat. I don't want to play the video. <clears throat> Boom. Hold on, I'm trying to do a spin around. I don't want to hit stuff. Boom. The Anchor Sound Core Mini. Ah, you want a Bluetooth speaker, huh? Look here, see? <laughs> All right, so on the inside of the Anchor Soundcore mini box. You're going to get thanks for choosing Anchor. Thanks for choosing me. Look here. See, you got a micro USB charging cable. And then you got some uh, user manuals. But you really don't need one. Yeah, see. And check this out, see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create a whole a whole chat that is full of just nineteen fifties noir nineteen fifties noir characters. Uh so this is the entire Bluetooth speaker right here. Now the only reason I'm really showing you this and kind of showing you how small it is is because I'm gonna play some music in your eyes. You're not gonna believe how good it sounds. Taking a look at the bottom, got some cat hair, pre installed. You got a micro USB port, or I mean micro SD card slot port. I need better lighting right here. Jeez. Micro USB, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary, power button. So turn this on very easy, see? That's all you got to do, see? Let's play some music. Let's play some music.
You guys already know what song we have to listen to. Hi, Nate. OMG, good morning. Yay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome, Demetrius Lofton, to the chat. If you guys didn't know, he is Demetrius, Dragon Blogger Demetrius. Uh, he's super not cool. And, of course, every freaking product has a user manual. That's him. There you go, chat. Can you guys hear that? You guys hear everything? Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up on my thoughts, sitting in an empty chain. Sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me, and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. And never really asked to be brought into this place. If you wanna love me, well then baby, I have a taste. All the highs and the lows that you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we can be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change. I need the day, I promise that I'm there. Hey, my dad! Hey, my dad! Hey, This song goes hard. I love this song. What do you guys think? It sounds pretty good, right? Right? Ha ha! Sick speaker! This is... <laughs> this is a sick Bluetooth speaker. If you hold on, hey, come here. This is a sick Bluetooth speaker by the company Anchor. If you guys need something sick. Check this one out. <laughs> ah, so you want a Bluetooth speaker? Look here, see? <laughs> all right, no, no, all jokes aside, this Bluetooth speaker, it really is super good. Why is there cat hair flying? What happened? What happened? Chat, if you guys are new here, first of all, listen. First of all, listen. If you wanted to ask questions about what's going on here, don't. Don't. Don't ask questions. Actually, shh. I made you a sandwich. I made you a sandwich. Why doesn't, why, why does every, I don't understand why everybody wants to leave me. I made you a sandwich. Your mic cuts out, I think. Extreme speaker. I don't know what's going on. 
Are you on noise canceling? I shouldn't be. That's the thing. I have a pop filter, but the pop filter shouldn't change anything. So your audio keeps cutting out, really? Yeah, so it's on cardioid. Hold on, chat. Let me let me try to fi figure this out. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. So All right. Microphone check. This is a microphone check using the Blue Yeti X. Microphone check using the Blue Yeti X on the cardioid pattern. Microphone check. Microphone check. Come on, chat. Come on. Don't do me wrong. Don't do me wrong. Oh, I'm getting severe frame. I'm getting severe frame drop. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am super excited to showcase to you the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus Bluetooth speaker. This is an absolute beast that comes with a ton of features and packs a ton of power. So we'll go ahead and just take a look at it. So you guys can see right here that it has this matte black finish all the way around it. Whenever we look at the top right here, you have that Soundcore branding. On the top as well, you're going to have all of your control buttons, which is going to be your play pause button, your next song button, the bass mood up, and your power button as well. Taking a look at it right here in the front as well, you can see that you are going to have your two speakers, two tweeters, and then on each side of the speaker, so right here and right here, you're gonna have passive speakers that are gonna act like your subwoofer, and they add a ton of bass. One of my favorite things about this is that you do receive a strap that you can hook onto this or take off if you don't want it. Makes it really easy to carry around because this is a big Bluetooth speaker. Taking a look at the back right here, you guys are gonna notice that you have a micro USB-C input that is to charge this. You have a USB-A output in order to be able to charge your devices. And then you also have your auxiliary jack right there in case you ever wanna extend the sound onto other devices. So what we'll go ahead and do now is simply just turn this on so you guys can hear what it sounds like. In order to get this turned on, very simple, just hold the power button down, you will hear a sound. So you guys might notice that right there, my red light is flashing. That is just because I extensively tested this just so I could come up with a legit opinion on what I think of this. All right, so we've got my phone paired up to the speaker. Let's go ahead and play some music and test it out and just see how good this sounds. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you all 
All right, so as you guys can see, the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus sounds amazing. Now take everything with a grain of salt whenever you listen to a Bluetooth speaker over camera because there's a ton of stuff that is going to basically bring down the quality of a Bluetooth speaker. But Anchor makes absolutely amazing products. This one has a ton of bass, but it's not that overwhelming bass that's just gonna make it sound distorted and just out of touch with what the song is supposed to be. So if you guys have been looking for a really awesome party speaker, I highly recommend this one from Anchor. This is the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right. Oh, is it working? Is it working again? Hello? Is it working? I think it's working. Hey, we're back. Let's go. Yes. Um, so I don't know why. How do I stop this testing? Oh, wow. Good. It's working. I don't know why this is acting like I have noise cancellation on. I have zero noise cancellation. So I don't know why it's cutting out. If I like I have to speak clear enough or loud enough for it to pick up. It shouldn't do this. But we're good. We're good. If you guys need a new Bluetooth speaker, definitely check out the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Parts of the pop shield are blocking your voice, maybe. Remove it. Uh, definitely check out the Anchor. <laughs> I don't have G-Hub on either, Justin. Let me see. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too loked out, going crazy. Yeah, let's turn off. Let's turn off a uh, G G Hub. It's the hub where G's goes. Message from wife. What is that? What your wife said? Feature. I never featured it. Oh my gosh, I was too focused on. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I never featured the Bluetooth speaker. Uh, G-Hub doesn't have to be running. It saves its presets into the mic. Okay, well, I didn't select anything. NVIDIA broadcast is off. That sounds better without the plop shield. Really? But now you got the... Never knew. I never knew that everything was falling through. Uh, no gift cards today that I'm aware of. That's just the way it goes. The EveryBot 3 Spin Heavy Duty Wet Mop is up next. So what's up, chat? <laughs> I need to go get a drink. I don't know why I have so much energy today. I mean, I did take my medicine. But also, at the same time, also, I haven't put in a chew today because I don't have any. You think that might affect my energy levels? Do you think so? Is that a, <clears throat> is that a possibility? Every bot three spin mopping robot is up next. <laughs> blaze it! Oh, 420 blaze it! Copenhagen wintergreen. Anxious? I don't think so. I think I'm actually very unanxious today. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does affect your energy levels. I haven't had a meow yet. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to do a little bit of a how-to and a test on the EveryBot 3 Spin Robotic Mop. I have been hearing a lot about this mop, so I'm super excited to test it out and show you guys how this thing works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose your mop head. So your first mop head that you're going to get is this general microfiber that you can see here. And then the next mop head you're going to get is a lot thicker and they claim that this one is better for cracks and crevices. So we're going to go ahead and go with the second option that we have here. And all you have to do to install these is simply just push them down, align the holes and they will Velcro there and you should be good to go after you get those all laid there. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you can see right here on top, you can just push in this silver button and then this whole little reservoir tank will release. Now all you want to do is put water in here. They say specifically not to put any solution or cleaner and also be sure not to- He's defeating the Mondays with power. Then you can quit, just have beef jerky. Faustino has a mop head. Godson J says, Sony Xperia 1IV. Oh. I'm touching it now. 
Ah, so you wanna... You wanna chew for five minutes on a single piece of jer beef jerky, see? Look here, see? Michael T just started following. Here's the thing about Michael T. Hold on. Dad, look at me. So listen, chat. If you guys want to potentially, potentially, chat, potentially win a beef jerky bag, put all caps Justin. Just type all caps Justin like this. Watch this. Do that. If he sees it, maybe he'll let me do a giveaway on a bag. I don't know. You got to be in the U.S. Maybe he'll let me do a giveaway on a bag. I don't know. That's on him. That's on him. It's on Amazon. Look here, see? I'm chewing forever. I can't stop chewing. It's the flavor that just keeps going and going and going. All right, let's go back over to the... Let's go back over to the EveryBot 3 spin. To put too hot of water inside of this reservoir tank because it could potentially deform and then this thing will not fit back in the main unit. So definitely just be safe with everything that you put in there. Just water should be good. To get this thing powered on, all you have to do is press the power button for a couple seconds and you will see that on the screen or on the panel, you can see that you have a battery level indicator and a water indicator on how much water this is actually going to push out whenever it's doing its cleaning cycles. And you do have the option to control this with a remote. As you guys can see here, there is a ton of features and a ton of options on here. Uh, there's a focus mode, edge, you can drain water, water control, so a bunch of different things that you can do there. Simply pressing this will engage it to do an automatic cleaning. And what this is gonna do, as you can see here, it automatically starts. And I really enjoy the way this thing gets around the surface that it's cleaning on just by moving each one of those wheels independently to create the friction and traction it needs to propel itself. So as for the test, as you guys can see here, we have ketchup, milk, and sriracha. So what we're gonna do is basically just kind of smear this around on my desk. And I hope my wife never sees this video because if she did, um, I might not be making videos for you guys. But what we're gonna do now that we've kind of smeared that around on the desk is we're gonna let it dry for a little bit just so it's a little bit stickier to really test out the three spins. Stickier? Gross. So as you guys can see here, I just turned on the machine and it's kind of figuring out where it is at on the table and remapping itself. But eventually what it's going to do that you'll notice here in just a couple of seconds is it's going to find its way over to the mess. And you guys can see when it gets over the mess, how well it actually picks everything up with just using water. And that's absolutely crazy to me that it picked it up with only water and no solution. Now I am in manual mode because it missed a little bit right here. Um, to it more pressure than the every bot can just to see what was left behind and how good of a job the three spin did. So taking a look at the paper towel, I'm actually pleasantly surprised I didn't get up a lot more from the table than this. I mean, that is obviously a little bit left over, but being that this had no solution, it's awesome. And you can see right awesome. here on the pad that it did a Love really that. good job of picking all of that stuff up. So all you have to do after those pads are dirty is just throw them in the washer. They are washer safe. So it's really cool that you're able to do that. All right. So that's going to be it for that video. I'm clearing the entries. Because if Justin doesn't want to do a gift card or a... He did, say, he did say we can do a gift card giveaway. He already said that. He already said that. Maybe we'll just do that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll give away a gift card right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Oh, he wants to do the jerky. Justin. Justin said we can do the jerky. Look at that. This jerky right here, chat. Oh, you don't don't get entered yet. Uh Justin, it's just no man's no man's land. 
just no man's land. Uh, don't get entered yet. Don't get entered yet because I'm about to clear it, everybody. I'm about to clear the entry, so please don't get entered. Otherwise, I will have to feel bad. Okay, here we go. I'm about to clear it. All right, here we go, chat. Hold on. You want to you wanna win a piece of beef jerky, see? Eh? Okay. Hold on. No, Townie's like, no, I don't actually at all. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, chat. Hurry. You can't even win, Demetrius. It doesn't matter. Get out of here. Go to work. Get out of here. So, if you guys want a chance to win... A bag of no man's land beef jerky, which is delicious, by the way. It's magnifico. Or a $20 Amazon gift card. So the winner has to be in the U.S. to pick the jerky. If you're not in the U.S., you can pick the $20 Amazon gift card. If you're in the U.S., you can pick either or. So, here we go. Hold on. $20 Amazon gift card. Or... No man's, no man's land beef jerky giveaway. There we go. Here we go. Here's the link. Go get entered right now. Uh, yes, you entered the, the form just reset. The form reset because I didn't plan on doing any giveaways today. But since there's so many of you guys here and you guys are awesome and you want a chance to win beef jerky or $20 to Amazon. Go get entered. So we're going to draw in one hour. We're going to draw in one hour. All right. All right. All right. No, listen. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing, Eric. All right, Eric. This is the best beef jerky on the face of the planet. Five. Uh, no, uh, someone's going to win this piece. <laughs> someone's going to win this piece, Eric. <laughs> um, all jokes aside. Pretty congrats to Eric. Lucky man. Look here, see? I negotiated in the background for you guys. I said, Justin, listen. Have my firstborn, firstborn child, but please let me give these people away for a chance to win No Man's Sky. And he said, I will take your firstborn for that. So, that's what happened. Yeah, I'm going to even chew it. For, if you guys want it pre-chewed, I can accommodate. Uh, the next part we're going to look at are those guys right there. See where my finger is? The Govi RGBI C65 point math. 65.6 inch RGBI C monitors. No, not monitor. Just lights. Just lights. Uh, I have to go do the front desk break back in 15-ish. Uh, my brother makes deer jerky from deer he hunted. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this um these light strips because they are super lighty. They're super bright, and guess what? They're super. They super have a twenty dollar off clickable coupon on them too. So, look here, see. Going through hell. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the RGB IC Pro light strips from Govi. 
Okay, so there are a ton of cool features, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what all you get. First, you're going to get a user manual. It's very simple to follow. Definitely recommend checking that out. Once you open it up, you're going to get the light strip itself. I got the 64 foot version, which is going to be a lot to work with, but we'll definitely figure it out. It comes in these reels, so it's pretty easy to manage. Then you're going to have your wall to AC adapter plugin. You're going to have your AC adapter itself. Then you're also going to get a lot of these tape and screw mounts to help keep the light strip stable and staying where you put it. And then you're going to get alcohol prep pads to clean the area where you're going to be installing the light strips. So next what you want to do is you want to locate on the back of the light strip, you're going to have this 3M sticky adhesive tape cover. So what you want to do is just peel that back. It might be a little tricky to get it peeled back, but once you get it peeled back, this stuff is super sticky and shouldn't be an issue. Now, one thing that is a little bit tricky that I definitely wanted to run by you guys, this is going to be a little bit long. Let's skip through this. Right here. Yeah. Here's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That scene looks like. As you can see here, it's a little out of focus, but the starry sky just imitates the starry sky by having a blue constant and kind of purple and green flashing lights. It looks really nice and really clean. I really like that effect. So let's go ahead and jump back over into the app now and we'll select, uh, we'll do fire. So in fire, Whoa. as you can see here, it's doing its best to imitate fire. Now, obviously that's not going to be perfect because this is a light strip, but it's- Call 911. Call 911 now. Oh, those are just light strips by Govi, which have a $20 off clickable coupon, by the way, but still call 911. I can't stop eating the beef jerky. It's still a cool feature nonetheless. Okay, so now jumping back to the app, like I said, a ton of cool features there. You're also going to have a DIY feature, which allows you to program the lights to your desire. Really? You're going to have a brightness filter here, wow. the effects lab, and then there's also a power off and on button right up here at the top that really? allows you to simply do just that. And then another cool feature is the Alexa and Google Home compatibility, which allows you to control the lights with your voice, as you can see here. Hey, Google, change the lights to red. Who's Kelly? Hey, Google, it's party time. Let's get this party started. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Party. Okay. Okay. Hey, Google, stop. And then you're also going to have a voice reactive feature. Yep. Whoa. Dragon Ball. All right. Tons of features. All the features you could ever want with a $20 off clickable coupon. So definitely check those out. But now you're like, nay. Nay, I don't want lights to go on my ceiling. I want lights to go around the back of my monitor. You know what I'd say to that? I'd say, first of all, lose the tone, young lady. Or young man. Don't talk to me in that tone of voice. You shut your mouth when you're speaking to me. I would say, if you do want some lights that go around the back of your monitor, Govi also makes those. You guys have probably seen this video before. But Govi also makes those. Does it work with a TV also? So they make TV backlights, but these ones are a lot different. Um, yes. The answer is yes, it would, but also not really. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. So this specific set, this is the entire strip. This is the entire strip. Um, so yes, you could put this on the back of a TV, but it's not going to be able to go all the way around. It'll still give the same effect. Just, it won't go all the way around. You see what I mean? It's like a snake. Ah! Oh, I scared myself. Sorry. But yeah. So this is the Govi RGB IC monitor backlight strip. Can you recommend one specifically for the TV? I sure can. I'm going to show you the video of this, which will ultimately operate as the same as the link I'll share for you for the TV ones. So give me one second. So let's take a look at the Govi monitor light. So it has a camera that reads. It reads the monitor colors and displays it on the back. It's just, it's just a great way to watch TV. 
I'm going through hell. I hate my dad if you even couldn't tell. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome GoV DreamView G1 gaming light. So these are actually light strips that sit behind your monitor or TV or really anywhere, and they read the colors of your screen with the camera that you can see that is right on top of my monitor. You can see right now that they are mimicking the colors of my monitor with that razor background. These are very easy to set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and showcase to you guys all the things that this can do. So we're just going to go ahead and play this video and as you guys can see right here it responds to the lights immediately which is really awesome i think the way that this works is just so incredible because it reads this camera and pulls that data through to the lights in real time like i said before at the beginning of the video this adds such a nice ambience and makes your setup regardless if it's a tv a gaming pc setup whatever it is this absolutely shreds whenever it comes to making your desktop stand out. So as you guys can see here, we loaded into a game of Raft because it's a very vibrant game. You guys can see when I look around that it goes blue when I'm looking at the sky and brown whenever Ow. I'm looking at the deck. And you can see when I jumped in the water there that it actually in real time reflected the deep dark blue ocean that you guys could see I jumped into it absolutely looks incredible I can't get over how awesome this makes the setup look it just makes everything feel so professional you guys can see every single little color change the Govee DreamView G1 light absolutely reflects it in real time and it just looks so good and so not only it do look pretty good it do look pretty good so if you guys want something like that for your monitor click the link in the carousel or click on the picture of these lights in the carousel. If you're new here, first of all, hit that follow button. Be here or be square. Um, and if you guys do want some for your TV, they also make that. And let me know what size TV you have. I could share a link. You could check it out, potentially purchase it, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at this IF mini electric screwdriver. This is a 90 in one kit, chat. 90 in one. I don't know if you guys know anything about math. That's a lot. Corey H just started following. Corey H. <laughs> Listen, everybody, welcome Corey H to the stream right now. Do it or that's not very cash money of you. <laughs> All right, let's look at the iFu mini electric screwdriver. iFu. Uh, and I'll be right back, chat. Take a quick bathroom break. Let's go. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome electronic screwdriver set from iFu. This set comes with a ton of different stuff. So let's go ahead and just jump in and talk about everything that it comes with. So you guys can see right here that this is the box that comes in. It's very well packaged. But whenever you get the box open, you're going to get the set itself. Now inside of the set, just some things that I pulled out is you're going to get this little suction cup. So it's cool that they included that. And then you're going to get your USB-C charging cable. So it's really cool that they're using a more modern charging style. And then you are going to get the set itself right here. As you guys can see, this is a very small form factor case, but it has a ton of stuff in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this open. And this lid is magnetic. So just be careful. Just understand it doesn't latch. It is magnetic. And I don't want you guys to tip this thing upside down and then have everything fall over because there's a ton of stuff in here and that would be terrible. So one of the cool things about this is you're going to get kind of this exacto knife right here. As well as the exacto knife, you're going to get five replacement heads. Then you're going to get this little capsule right here. So this would be really good for holding some of those smaller screws whenever you're working on stuff. You are going to get tweezers right here. You're going to get angled tweezers as well. You're going to kind of get this little separator tool right here. So this would be good for like laptop panels or just panels in general. And then you're going to get a ton of these little picks right here. You guys can see right there that there's just these tiny looking guitar pick things, and that's also going to help you remove panels and so on. Continuing on inside of here, tons and tons of other stuff in here. I mean, this set is loaded. You're going to get this plastic pry bar right here that kind of has angled tips on the end of it just to kind of get into those harder to reach areas. I'm back. Another one of those pry bars. Then you're going to get this pointed pry bar. Right oh, my gosh. This video is long. We're not watching this. 
No. Because whenever you activate it, regardless if you're turning backwards or going forward, it's going to have a little light on it. And that light is honestly pretty bright. So it's definitely going to illuminate some of those areas that you're working in that might be hard to see. This yep. set is absolutely incredible. It comes with so much stuff. I tested this on this pair of scissors, and this was strong enough to get out this little flat head that I needed. And it's just an incredible uh, set. Same. It comes with every single thing you guys need and then some. I'm really surprised at the quality of this. And I really even shouldn't say surprise. I'm just really enthused about the quality of this. So if you guys have been looking for a new electronic screwdriver set, precision set, to be more specific, definitely check this out from iFu. It has every single thing you guys need, and I think you'll be very happy with it. So thank you guys for checking out this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Listen, chat. Listen, see. So. Man, I am. I'm burning up like the Jonas Brothers. Cause I'm burning up, burning up for you, baby. Corey H said, let's go. Woo! -hoo! Circle the wagons. This is what we're doing. Hit that follow button because I can prom I can't promise you. Look, 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 look. I may not. I may not have a lot of money. I may not be smart. I may not be cute. Let's go ahead and take a look at this mini chainsaw. Yeah? This is the... Oh my gosh. I'm... I can't... This... It takes forever to chew this. Maybe I have weak gums. Chat, do I have weak gums? Margaret, yeah. And... And we're giving away either $20 Amazon gift card or a pack of No Man's Land beef jerky. That's pretty cool, right? You didn't see that coming on Monday morning. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm going to film a review. I'm going to film a review of No Man's Land beef jerky. Right? I'm going to film a review of it. And uh, in the review, I'm just going to be like, I'm going to chew it for like three minutes. And be like, yeah, it tastes good. And that's going to be the whole video. Uh, so this is the MOM Live 6-inch brushless cordless chainsaw. Um, MOM sent this to me a while back. I don't know why they would send this to me. It's a really nice chainsaw. So if you guys need a, a good chainsaw for like smaller branches, yard work, really just anything along those kinds of lines, like not chopping down, uh, like redwoods. This is great for that. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this little beast of a mini chainsaw, the MOM Live 6 inch electric chainsaw this chainsaw is absolutely awesome so as you guys can see here on the front like i said before you do have a six inch blade which is pretty cool so it's going to be really good for gardening and you can see all around the body you're going to have that yellow and black design that's going to wrap all the way around you have a soft touch material right here on the handle your trigger right here which will not activate until you squeeze this safety that you can see right here so you're good to go and not cut off your fingers while using this thing you're going to have a valve right here that is going to allow you to apply some of that chain oil that you can put in here that you need to put in there before you use it just for safety measures. So this thing is definitely really good for things like working around the house in the garden, uh, getting down overhanging branches. It's not obviously going to cut down a tree or anything like that with that six inch blade, but you will be able to do that with smaller things. And it does come with two 21 volt lithium ion batteries. As you can see, here's one right here. 
as well as battery indicators on the back of those. So all you have to do is get these installed. As you can see, I'm doing right here. All you have to do is just simply slide it down. It'll lock in and then you are good to go. So like I said before, now that the battery is in, be a little bit more careful around this. It will not go until you push that safety right there. And while you're using this, I highly recommend using safety glasses and they do send you a pair of safety glasses. So let's go ahead and get this thing tested out and see how well it works. Eat more chicken. That video's old, chat. And so as you guys can see here, this little mini chainsaw made quick work of those pretty thick overhanging branches that you guys could see there. So if you guys have been looking for a new chainsaw for around the house, around the garden, I highly recommend this one from MOM and I'll see you guys on the next video. When was this video uploaded? I need to figure out when this video is uploaded. Hold on chat. Oh, it doesn't say on. Dang it. I could have swore there was no way that we had the, we had our fence up, which is that brown fence you saw. We didn't have that fence up whenever I got this to review. Huh, what kind of... Look here, see? So you think you... <laughs> so you think you've entered the Twilight Zone, huh? Uh, but all right, we're going to look at this Hummix Car Phone Mount Holder. Car Phone Holder. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm settling this once and for all. We're figuring out how exactly you say this. Like, what's... Like, the best way... The best way for me to explain this to you, Lily, is do you remember QVC? You remember QVC? Is this guy just trying to sell stuff? No, I'm just showing stuff that um, either I purchased myself, companies have sent to me to do a review on. I'm just showcasing it to you. Um, and if you like it, then you can click a link in the carousel. Uh, if you like it, then you can click a little link in the carousel and buy it. I'm just showing you videos. Yeah, bas that's basically it. Um, yeah, that's basically what this is. That's basically what this is. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Uh, but no, welcome. If it's your first time on an Amazon live stream, which it sounds like it is, uh, welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live stream. Hit that follow button, which is, if you're on computer, it's like, I don't know, right here or something. If you're on phone, just tap the screen. It's like in the top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. I don't know where it's at. I'm gonna be, let's be real. Let's be real. I don't know. Everybody in chat, welcome Lily to the stream. Look at that, Lily figured it out. Bottom. Boom. Boom. Yeah, welcome Lily. Uh, so the next product that we're gonna look at, like I said, is this magnetic car phone mount holder. Actually, no, no, we're not. We're gonna look at the kitchen gizmo clip on strainer because it's so cool it's so cool check this out lily if you think that you figured out how to strain pasta you haven't i promise you haven't because the kitchen gizmo snap and strain strainer it's noise Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Kitchen Gizmo Snap and Strain Pot Strainer. They call this the ultimate pot strainer, but let's go ahead and see if that's true and get this thing unboxed. Now opening this, there's absolutely nothing to it. All you have to do is pull yeah. it out of the box and then pull it out of the plastic. Just pull right it out. for the bat, one of the first things that I notice about this is how thick this rubber feels. It feels very, very solid and very well made. As you guys can see right here, I have the red color on one of these sides as well as the other side that you guys will see here in a second you are going to have your clips the clips do feel very strong and the area yeah. around the clips is reinforced so obviously you have that rigidity that you need in order to be able to put this on a pot so as you guys can see right here i boiled up some egg noodles that i wasn't sure what i was going to do with but we'll go ahead and slide this over the pot and all you have to do to do that is basically just hold in the clip and push it down you guys can see right here that i had a little bit of a hard time because i didn't think this thing was going to fit 
but it actually bends in order to accommodate larger size pans That's what she or said. smaller size pots, whatever it is. So you can definitely get this thing to fit on multiple size pots. And as you guys can see, this is steaming, steaming hot. It's not quite boiling, but we'll go ahead and start pouring this out just to test it out. And I purposely boiled a lot of these noodles so I could add some weight to it just to really give this thing a good testing. And as you guys could see right there, I had absolutely zero problems. But what we'll do now is just go ahead and shake it so we can add more weight to it. And this thing has absolutely zero problems with straining with that hot water coming through and all of that weight pushing down on it. So the clips are really strong. And honestly, I could never see myself not using this in the future. So if you guys need a new strainer, definitely check this one out and I'll see you on the next video. Don't lie to me, chat. Don't lie to me here. Tell me that's not the easiest way you've ever seen to strain noodles. Tell me. No. Nah. You know, I have the option. I totally have the option to stop eating this. So that's what we'll do. We're going to stop eating it. I've ate like the whole bag. It's not cheap when it comes to beef jerky, but I need to stop. Uh, but yeah, if you guys need a new way to strain your pasta, is this what my life has come to that I'm explaining to you guys cool ways to strain your pasta? <laughs> uh, look here, see. Uh, we're going to look at this Estilo three-tier oven baking rack next. Rack. Rack city. Rack city, rack, rack city. Here you go. Here you go, chat. Uh, this is a three-tier oven baking and cooling rack. This is what, yeah, this is where my life is. I'm showing you guys baking racks. Here you go. Hey, what's going on, my friends? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today, I am super excited to showcase to you something that I never have. As you guys can see right here, this is metal. That's right. Today we are going to be reviewing metal. Um, all jokes aside, this is the Estilo <laughs> three-tier oven baking rack. That was funny. He said, I thought, I knew he was joking, but then he said all jokes aside. So then he made it serious again. <laughs> Look at me. So what this is going to be good for is adding space to your oven or just creating more shelves in your oven so you guys can put more stuff in at once. If you guys have multiple dishes that you need to bake, you're gonna be able to do so with this. You guys can see right here, it has this very nice chrome finish. And honestly, this is very sturdy. Now, this did take me a while to figure out how to build correctly. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to build this correctly, just so you guys might avoid some of the headache that I had while trying to figure this out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and switch over and you guys can see that right here, we're gonna set this down. So this is going to come with two loose shelves. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out of the way real quick. Let's go ahead and move my mouse out of the way. So you guys can see that this is one unit itself. What you want to do to start getting this set up is simply unfold it this way. And all you need to do now is flip this over 180 degrees. Once you have that flipped over 180 degrees, all you have to do is simply just lock these down in place like this by pushing down. And then the next part that you want to do is take these shelves. As you guys can see, this is very simple to do. Now I say that, but in hindsight, looking back on it, I did struggle with this quite a bit. So now what you want to do is you want to take these hooks that you guys can see right here in the middle and then simply just line them up on both sides. You want to make sure that the hooks are on the inside of the metal bars for the main unit. And then once they are on the inside, you guys can see right here that this is not going to budge at all product. Now just make sure whenever you're building this that you do follow my instructions or follow the instructions that are included with them. I was a little bit stubborn and definitely didn't do my best job reading the instructions. But honestly, you guys can see that right here, this is just a very simple design. This is gonna add a ton of awesome ways to add more dishes into your stove while you're baking. I really see something like this being really beneficial for Thanksgiving day, whenever you have to cook a ton of dishes or bake a ton of dishes and you don't have enough room in your oven. And honestly, with how sturdy and nice this is, this could just be a really nice shelving unit in general. You could place this on a 
cabinet, for example, on countertops and just have some extra storage. So if you guys have been looking for a new way to just add storage or add shelves to your stove, definitely check yep. this out from Estilo. It's very well made. I think you guys will like it. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Yeah, I think it just has to do with lighting, to be honest. I do kind of look different then. That was like a month ago. The angle is different too. I was sitting like this. I also had hair. I don't have much hair anymore. Uh, the next product, we're going to stay in the kitchen. We're going to look at this Nutrifrost two-tier or, or two-door top and um, like top bottom. I don't know what you call it. Top bottom refrigerators. Did he get work done? Uh, no, I definitely didn't. My face is like kind of sunburned. I don't know, chat. Now I'm self-conscious. Cosmetic surgery. Oh, no, now you guys got me worried. Maybe I did get work done. Maybe somebody worked on me while I was asleep. <gasps> oh. Let's take a look. Welcome, John YK. <laughs> ah, funny. Dragon Blogger Nate here. What is going on, my friends? I hope you're having a great day. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Nutrifrost refrigerator. Nutrifrost recently sent me this refrigerator to test out and do a review on. I gave myself about a week to truly test it out. I mean, as you guys know, everyone uses the fridge all the time, and this one's incredible. It's got this really nice, almost slate gray brushed aluminum look that really doesn't pick up fingerprints that bad. The handles are very nice being that they're not extruding from the refrigerator itself. They're just kind of built into it right on the top. And if you're worried about your kids breaking into the freezer and eating 14 popsicles, you really don't have to because more than likely they won't be able to reach the handle. And talking about the freezer, there is a ton of space on the inside. You have this shelf right here in the middle, which is kind of two leveled in case you guys want more space on the top or the bottom of the freezer. If you want to install an ice maker in here, you definitely can do that. Just know that you'll obviously need a water line running to your refrigerator as well as the ice maker itself. I might do that in the future, but for now, this makes a great spot for my cold mugs. Go Bills! On the inside of the freezer door, you're going to have these two shelves, which are pretty deep, so you're definitely not going to run out of space for stuff in your freezer that didn't fit in the regular part of the freezer. Now taking a look at the main attraction, the refrigerator portion of this has an insanely large amount of space so you can store all of your favorite goodies right on the inside of your fridge. On the inside door, you're going to have a ton of space to be able to store your milk, your tea, really whatever it is, all of your different condiments. If we kind of pan down right here, you guys notice you have three shelves. Now only two of them have the max space, but the bottom one still has space for everything else. Setting your temperature on here is also super straightforward. All you have to do is press that set button and then hold it down for three seconds to get it to where you want to go. Both of the drawers at the bottom of the refrigerator portion on this Nutrifrost are going to have your humidity control, which is super easy to adjust. You guys can see that on the left, it's for fruits. On the right, it's for vegetables. So it's really nice that you're able to do that. Installing and moving around the shelves is as simple as possible. All you have to do is simply slide it in like that. And the way it retains the shelf is with this little mechanism that whenever you slide this back, it's going to fall into a little groove that can only be pulled back out if you lift it up again. So this does have an assisted closing. And I'm going to show you guys right here that whenever you do close this, the fridge does a phenomenal job sealing. If you look right there in the middle on the fridge, you guys notice that it is slowly sealing itself to keep all of your foods fresh. If you're one of the people that also like to store some stuff on top of the fridge, don't worry about it. The fridge has a ton of space on top for you guys to store your favorite chips, cereals, really whatever it is. Overall, I have loved every single thing about the Nutrifrost fridge that you guys can see here. It's made super well. The stainless steel looks great. The accessibility is awesome. So thank you for checking out this video. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger, and I'll see you guys on the next one. So chat, my dog has been sitting here licking my leg for the past five minutes. He's still doing it. Well, he's not now because I moved my leg. So I scraped my leg up pretty bad this weekend, and he's sitting here cleaning it. It's super weird. Super sus. Um, we're going to look at this Estilo long grill brush next. Long grill. This is not just a short grill brush, chat. It's a long one. It's a long one. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Don't forget to get entered into our $20 Amazon gift card or beef jerky giveaway. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look 
at this steel bristle cleaner for grills. You guys can see right here that this is a very simple design. The handle is made out of a pretty hard plastic. It's got a little hook so you can hang this off the side of your grill should you choose to do that. And then the extensions right here are actually this braided steel. So I know this is gonna hold up well over time and it's not just going to bend or deform. And then like I said, these are steel bristles. And of course, like everything else in my house, there is um, cat hair on it right here. But I just wanted to say this, whenever you guys are using these steel bristles, what I would always recommend doing after cleaning with steel bristles because these can start to deteriorate and start to get uh, kind of weaker as you use this more and more or as the steel gets older, just use some paper towels on your grill grates uh, just to make sure that none of these steel bristles you know, fall off and stay on the grill and uh, you know, you end up consuming them with your burgers or something like that. Now the best time to clean your grill is when it is still hot or warm. But you guys can see right here that I actually have one of my super old grills that has been neglected and it is not heated, but we're gonna go ahead and test this just to see how well this works. So I'll go ahead and turn over here. You guys can see that we have quite a bit of buildup right here from previous grilling. So we'll go ahead and just give this some elbow grease and see how well this works. So initial impressions, as you guys saw right there, I had food caked up and there was also just some seasoning and just whatever else was on the grill over here. And it pretty much already got all of this pretty well clean, but we'll go ahead and continue on and see how well this works. And like I said, guys, it is best to clean this when it's hot because then any of the stuff that is caked on there and is kind of hard is going to be more loose or it's gonna be easier to clean when it's hot. But you guys can see that even without it being hot, this is actually doing a really good job of cleaning off those grates. Now, a grill that has been neglected as much as this one has right here is definitely gonna be harder to clean. You should honestly clean off your grill grates after every grill while it's still hot. That way you expand the life of your grill and it's not as hard. But as you guys can see right there, this did a phenomenal job getting off a lot of that stuff right there. Now there still is some left on. That's not fault of this cleaner right here it's just because it has been caked on for so long and it's not hot but if you guys Sorry. want to do a uh, grill cleaner definitely check this one out <laughs> Faustino sent me some new audios <laughs> that's great uh, That that's hilarious that's like putting your nails on a chalkboard to me. I can't listen. Oh, the the cleaning of the grill? Really? Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, I don't think I've showed you guys this video before. This is a Green Co. modern design two-tier floating sh I don't. It's a floating shelf made by Green Co. It's very nice, very easy to get set up. So let's just take a look at it. You don't understand. Hey, where'd my app go? Because it's just too late and we can't go back. I'm sorry. I can't be perfect. Because <laughs> it's just too late and we can't go back. I'm sorry. I can't be. Hey, Dad. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Daniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at another Green Co. product. So you guys can see right here that this is a modern two-tier wall mount corner shelf. I've already installed a couple of these before. Green Co. makes phenomenal products. They're super easy to set up. I'm gonna go ahead and dive in, show you everything that comes with this, how to get it set up, and how to install it. 
So this is every single thing that comes inside of the box. It's very simple. You're going to have four wood pieces. You're going to have your instructions as well as all of your mounting hardware that is going to include drywall anchors in case you can't get this installed on a stud. Now what you want to do is very simply just read all of the backs of these. You guys can see that right there they have letters. All you're going to do is you're going to line up B with D and then A with C and then you're simply going to screw those together with the included screws. Now what you want to do is make sure that whatever corner you're going to be installing these on, so say I'm going to be going in this way to a corner, you just want to make sure that the wood grain finish right here is on the outside so you don't see any of the rest of the wood. We'll go ahead and get these screwed together, show you guys how to tie them up, and then that will be it. So also real quick, one way that I found that makes this easier to install is start with a D on the bottom, as you guys can see right here. Then you are going to install B to it, and you're gonna install C on top of that. Make sure that these are parallel with the same curvature going towards the wall, and then you're gonna install A on top of C. And so now that you've gotten those two parts together, you can see this is what it should look like. You're gonna have two drywall anchors and two screws left over, as well as some of these little plugs in case you wanna cover up some of the screws. Let's go ahead and find a good place to install these and I'll show you guys how that works. All right, so I think we found the perfect corner candidate and it's going to be right here. You guys can see that. I That's the perfect the corner candidate. We're gonna go ahead and get this installed right here and show you guys what it looks like. And so here is the final product, my friends. You guys can see that the color really blends in nice with my kind of beige walls. If you guys have been looking for a new floating shelf, Green Co. has got you covered. They make awesome products. This is definitely not an exception to all of the cool stuff that they do. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Maybe I need to do more ASMR type videos. What do you guys think? Should I do more ASMR? But you get detention. Uh, were you just rhyming? No, you vomited last time. I don't even remember what I did last time for ASMR. Uh, we're going to look at this L Lonico air purifier next. And once we're done with the carousel, let me see. Mm. If we're done with the carousel in the next 25 minutes, two, five, we'll do the impure air. Hold on. I don't think you were here, Meatface. I'm not kidding you. We're literally getting, giving away a bag of beef jerky or $20. <laughs> a bag of beef jerky or $20. One or the other. I can't do both. We can't do both. So be sure to get <laughs> Uh, But yeah, the Lonico air purifier for large room is up next. Listen, I don't make the rules. I just play by them. That's the way it goes around here. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this absolutely awesome and perfectly made air purifier by Leftrum. Now, honestly, I had never heard of Leftrum up until this point, but I have been so impressed with this air purifier. So let's go ahead and just do a quick overview and talk about everything that this air purifier has to offer. Leftrum made an absolutely amazing quality air purifier. So let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at it. You guys can see that right here, it has this awesome grid pattern on both of these sides and it just looks really nice. This is an all metal construction and the filter on this air purifier is huge. So it's definitely gonna do a great job getting all of that dander, particulates, pollen out of the air and changing it is as easy as opening up that top door and sliding it out and putting in a new one. And it has this really nice black and white design that I think is just a very clean, modern look to it. Controlling this is as simple as you guys could imagine. You'll see right here up on top, you have this all metal constructed wheel. There's three different modes and that's all there is to it. And this thing moves a ton of air. So what I want to do is basically just kind of show you guys how much air it's moving. So right now I am on the air mode one, which is basically the least amount of airflow. You guys can see here that it is a steady amount, but you cannot tell that this thing is on when it's on mode one. Mode two, you have to listen much closer and you can see even more airflow. The only noticeable sound nice. that you're going to notice out of this is when you're on mode three.
And this moves a ton of air, so it's definitely going to help clean up the air wherever you need it to. So if you guys have been looking for a new air purifier, I definitely recommend this one from Left Drum. It is made super well, and I really enjoy using it. So I'll see you guys on the next video. All righty, chat. Continuing on, we're going to look at this label maker by... What's the name of the brand? Mark Life. Mark Life, yep. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, not long ago, when people wear pajamas and live life slow. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blog. And also, everybody in the chat, let me know right now if you want me to throw, if you want me to throw the moon at Earth again. Just let me know. I, I'll throw the moon at Earth right now. I don't even care. For Tekken Entertainment, today I am super excited to showcase to you the Mark Life p12 label maker this thing has a ton of features so let's go ahead and just jump in and take a look at everything that this has to offer so we'll go ahead and open it up and there's really not too much the unboxing on this you guys can see right here the first thing you're going to notice is you're going to get this little instruction manual right here now the app pretty much has all of the features that you need but go ahead and just read through this just to learn how to get it set up and also for maintenance and just other stuff like that you guys can see right here, there's really not even much to the instruction manual, but continuing on, you're also going to get this little holder right here, which has this cute little bear right on top. At least I think that's a bear. And the next thing that you're going to get inside of the box is a USB-C cable, and it's just nice to see that they are using newer technology to get this thing charged. So you're definitely going to have faster charging. And then we're going to get the main unit itself. Now, while the Mark Life P12 label maker might seem a little bit small, it is definitely very mighty and has a ton of awesome features built in. All right, let's go ahead and skip through this. We've already been talking for 10 years. He sets built in right here just to get a quick label to the size that you want. And then there are tons and tons of different little options right here on the bottom. You guys can see we have text, picture, sticker, date, Excel, code, QR code. There's just so many other ones. So I'll go ahead and test this out by just typing in Mark Life P12. And then as you guys can see right here, right before you print, you can choose how many copies and the print density. And then right off of the bat, super, super fast, this prints almost immediately after you click the print button on your phone. Now I didn't choose the right size, that's why it is so long, but you guys can see right here also how sharp this is. It just cuts it right off and this is serrated tape. So all you have to do is peel it in the middle and you guys can see right there that the picture looks super good. So let's test out another feature. All right, so you guys can see right there, I just chose a photo of my dog Ninja laying on his little doggy bed. It has it rotated right here, so we'll go ahead and click print. You guys can see right here that you're able to select all your options again. We'll hit print and just see how this comes out. And you guys can see right here, it is printing the full blown photo. And I accidentally had this print a very long label again. But that's just my fault. That is not the label maker's fault, obviously. We'll go ahead and cut this, and you guys can see just how sharp this thing is. I am basically barely holding this, but whenever I pull it out, you guys can see that I almost have to give it absolutely zero tension just because it is so sharp. So it's really awesome that it cuts away really clean, and then you guys can see right there, and actually really good detail, the little label that it made of my dog. All right, Chad, so that's the Mark Life P12 label maker. But you know what? You know what? It's time to blow up the earth. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I just don't know if you're ready to believe me. I just don't know if you guys are ready for this. For what I'm about to show you, I don't know if you're if you're in if you're ready for this. That that's that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, chat. So this right here. Hold on. We're going to. So this right here is a game called Universe Sandbox. With Universe Sandbox, 
you can do about whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on in our sun. So this is our solar system, chat. Check this out. This is our solar system. So this is sped up to every second in real life is 15 days on this graph. So 15 days per second in real life. So that's us going around 15 days per second. We're going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to show you guys something pretty crazy. Hold on. So we're going to click on Earth. We're going to click on Earth. We're going to zoom in until we're at Earth. So there's Earth, chat. There's our little planet. There is our little planet. So you can see way over there is Mercury. Way over there is the sun. But now let's see what happens if we throw... <laughs> let's see what happens if we throw the moon at, at Earth, right? Here we go, chat. This is what would happen if you threw the moon at Earth. I'm not kidding you. So here's Earth. So it's spinning at... It's spinning at one hour for every second in real life. So let's slow it down. All right, chat. What do you guys think? If I throw the moon at Earth, does Earth survive? What do you guys think? I need you guys to let me know. If we throw the moon at Earth, does Earth survive? You think we survive? All right, here we go. We're going to throw it just in the middle of... We'll throw it in the middle of the Pacific. Here we go. We're going to throw it in the middle of the Pacific. So there we go, chat. It is now... her. It's, it's going at 1.78 kilometers a second. 1.78. Morning, Vicky. Good morning, Vicky. Here we go. We're going to speed it up. All right, chat. So this is a simulation of the Earth being hit by the moon. So for every second that passes on Earth, this is sped up to every six minutes, basically. But we got to get it close, and then we're going to slow it down. Here we go, chat. This is what would happen if the moon hit Earth. riveting yeah so nobody survives by the way <laughs> nobody survives that explosion now watch this one more time watch this here we go chat watch this we're gonna put an earth down one more time we're gonna put earth down Oh, I just threw it into space. Hold on. Let's get rid of that Earth. Come here, Earth. Here we go. Orbit. We're going to put Earth right here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to throw... We are going to throw the Pyramid of Giza... <laughs> We're going to throw the Pyramid of Giza at Earth at light speed. No joke, at light speed. We're going to throw it right down in the middle of nowhere. So this is the Pyramid of Giza hitting the Earth at light speed. That's basically what happens. There it goes, chat. The Pyramid of Giza at light speed. So this is pretty much a second every second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. Here we go. Come on.
Look at that shockwave. Look at that shockwave. Almost all the way across the entire United States. Almost the entire, almost all the way across the entire United States. So here's one other thing I'm going to show you guys. That's pretty cool. This is going to blow your guys' minds. So hold on. I'm going to show you guys something really crazy. I just have to find it. <laughs> she said, wow, I'm dead. Anyone know what's this app? It's called Universe Sandbox. So let's go back real quick. Open. Guides. No, hold on. We're going to go back one more time. Open. Open existing simulation. My Sims. All. So we need to look up comparison. Planet. So here's a fun fact. Here are all of the planets that could fit between. Okay, so how far away the Earth is from the moon? These are all the planets that could fit between it. Look at that. So there's our moon right here. Uranus. Saturn. Jupiter. Look at that, chat. That is how many could fit between our planet our, the sun and the moon the distance all of the all of the planets in the solar system could fit between uranus uranus yeah right that's what it is workshop i have to find this one little i have to find this really cool thing i saw yesterday Most popular. It must be right in here. Planet size comparison. I want I just want to put something into perspective for you guys. Size. Jupiter has always been your fave planet. May I ask why? May I ask why, Jupiter? Here, let's throw... Let's throw something at Jupiter. How about that? Let's throw... Earth at Jupiter. Yeah, we're going to throw the Earth at Jupiter now. Add. Come on, Earth. Do your thing. This is what happens if you throw Earth at Jupiter. Yeah, speed it up. This is what happens if Earth gets thrown at Jupiter, chat. Overall, not that much. Overall, not that much. We're going to throw one at each one of these planets. Uh-oh, I messed up. I messed up, chat. Let's throw Earth at Earth. Here we go. I'm creating havoc. <laughs> J 
just destroy it all. Now the sun. Now I'm going to throw the sun at all of it. Here we go. At all of it, the sun is being thrown. Where's our sun? Right here. Here we go, chat. At light speed. Goodbye, everybody. Oh. We just destroyed the universe. We Look at that. Okay, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Why did we... How did we even get there? How did we even get to this point? I think we're... Is this gonna... It, I just exploded our, our galaxy. Is this gonna affect the Call of Duty servers? Uh, so does that mean no more Netflix? Sorry, I just need to know. Gonna need to call Dr. Strange to bring us all back now. Nate's negativity on our survival after COVID. Yeah, I just want to know if that's going to affect the Call of Duty servers. All right, let's go ahead and look at the uh, Mark Life P11 and P12. This is a uh, label. This is label replacement paper. Is all this really is? Hey, what's up, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment back today, talking about the Mark Life P12 again. So. I just recently did another video where I told you guys that I had ran out of paper for my Mark Life P12. This has been incredible. I ran out of paper and I just tested some transparent paper from them. And one of the other papers that they actually sent was just this standard 40 by 12 millimeter paper. So this is just a refill. This is very easy to install whenever you guys run out of paper. All you have to do is simply drop this down and then right on the inside, you are going to have a little compartment. Now, all you have to do to get this changed out is you guys right there can see that the paper isn't as wide or as long as the labels themselves. So what you want to do is close it down after you pull a label out. So we're going to go ahead and close it down about right there. Then just simply cut it off. Now, make sure you don't have any of the next label on there, and then you should be good to go. The next thing that you want to do after that is just load up the app and then you are going to select the paper length on this. We'll go ahead and go back real quick and I'm going to show you guys some of the things that you can do inside of the app. Now we are just using standard paper, but you guys see right there, I actually have the paper length already selected. So now all you have to do is just select print label, select print again right there, and then right off of the bat, it just prints super duper quick. So this is just a very easy way to get reset up with more paper if you run out of some. Thank you to Mark Life for sending me this. So these boxes right here, they're not only going to come with one, they're going to come with three total. Obviously, I have one in the Mark Life P12. This is just an incredible little label maker. Go ahead and close that back up. So yeah, definitely check out this new um, Mark Life P12 and also check out the paper refill. I'm Nate with Drag Blogger, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, chat. Here we go. We're back. I need you guys to tell me what you want to do. So we got to start a new simulation. We got to go to open. We got to go to open. So here's a tidally locked earth. So if you guys don't know what earth means, if it's tidally locked, that means it is the same side of the planet is always facing the sun. That's what that means. The same side of the planet is always facing the sun. And this is what it looks like. This is what it would look like on Earth. So pretty much all of North America. All of North America is completely frozen, except for people down here in Florida will be okay. Looks like some some parts of California or 
really Mexico will be okay. But overall, it's just going to be terrible. I mean, this is completely frozen solid up here. This is completely frozen solid. It looks like South America is okay, except for the western coast of South America. Africa is Gucci. And over here is not that good. All right, so that's what it looks like if Earth were to get tidally locked which means the same side is always facing. Um, let me look up another one. Let me, I have to go to workshop and go to community workshop. Give me one second chat. We're going to find something pretty cool. Subscribers. Okay, hold on, chat. Hold on. So here's a universe size comparison. All right, check this out, chat. So these are moons. I'm pretty sure these are Saturn's moons. Like, oh, wow, this moon is huge, right? Like, we just, this moon looks like it's huge, right? Nope. Because if we keep zooming out, they're getting bigger and 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 bigger. But if we keep zooming out even more, all of those are still just a fraction of Earth. So Earth is pretty big, right? Earth is pretty big. Let's 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 look. So how long do you guys think it would take to walk across the U.S.? Just walk. How long would it take to walk across the United States? Somebody let me know. Just a random guess in chat. Because that's big, right? Three months. That's probably, that's probably fair. Now across the entire world. If there was a bridge that went across the entire world, what would you say? Two years, two years to walk that, that far. Four or five months. So there we go. So we've got a gauge on scale on the earth, right? Planet nine. So remember, here's earth. Here's earth right here. This little, this little guy right here. Here's earth. Let me zoom back out. Oh, earth is right here, actually. Remember, Earth is right there on the left, chat. Right there. That little guy. So you can't even see us anymore, right? Here's our sun. So our Earth, that would take two years to walk... One year to walk across. One year to walk across. Can fit inside of our sun over one million times. So there's our sun, right? Do you guys see that? The, it, it takes us one year to walk across our Earth. Our sun fits our Earth one million times. One million times. And look how small it is compared to other stars. Can we just admit that this is not okay? Can we just admit that this is not okay? All right, chat. So if you guys are if you guys are ready and you guys are good to go and get entered, um, or you're wanting to get entered into the, no, if you guys are already entered into the beef jerky, beef jerky or twenty dollar Amazon gift card, put F in chat. See, I think Sheila knew where I was going with that. Sheila knew where I was going with that.
We got Mama Siren with the F, Maxine. Uh, yes, Vicky. I can read your mind. Yeah. She lives out here. She knows what's up. Yeah, we are very, 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 very small. So, uh, jerky beef, yeah. <clears throat> so, to put it into perspective real quick, chat, one more time. If we, okay, say our solar system. So, say the Milky Way galaxy was the size of a football field. Say we shrunk it down to the size of a football field. If we left Earth right now, if we left Earth right now, and we just headed straight, straight for one year at the speed of light. If our if our galaxy, the Milky Way, was the size of a football field, and we traveled straight at light speed for a year, we would only have moved a little over a foot. One foot. One foot on a football field. That's for a year. No, actually, sorry. It's an inch, not a foot. An inch. We've moved an inch through our just our galaxy. And we know there's billions and billions and billions and billions of galaxies. I don't like it. It makes me... It make You can't... You can't... You can't... Picture... You can't. You can't... Yeah, exactly. It's hard to fathom. You can't. Uh, but all right, we're going to go ahead and do our gift card or beef jerky giveaway. I didn't know that was going to happen today. So let me go ahead and load up the live giveaway page. Yeah, it is. It's super hard to fathom, Sheila. It's just like, how do you... That's just one galaxy, too. Just one. If we are contained within the explosion of the Big Bang, what would it look like if we could travel to the outside of the explosion? That's if the Big Bang is even how the universe came into in existence. How full is the bag? You're getting a new one, by the way. <laughs> Sheila, I don't know if you're kidding, but you're not getting mine. You're not getting my beef jerky bag. You're going to get a new one. Here we go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see, Jennifer. Give me a second. Uh. Hold on. Hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking, 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 looking. I'm looking, 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 looking. Jennifer, I don't see you. I do not see you, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah, it is not popping up for me. It shows entered. Oh, okay. Now, now, now. Yep, you just popped up. Yep, you just popped up. All right, chat. Here we go. Here we go to see who's going to win. Come on. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. $20 Amazon gift card or a bag of No Man's Land beef jerky. I know what I'd pick. I don't know what you guys are going to pick. Here we go. The winner is... Wow. Angelo B, are you in the chat? Angelo B, are you in the chat? You have 30 seconds starting five seconds ago. 
So once we get to five seconds, once we get to five seconds, your time is up. Angelo has won, chat. Angelo has won. Congratulations, Angelo. So are you choosing the beef jerky or the $20 Amazon gift card? Your pick. Your pick, my friend. Angelo wins a lot. Give me the money. All right, Angelo. Congrats, Angelo. How do you beat that, chat? I mean, everybody, big F's in chat for Angelo. Jeez, he wins. He's out here winning. That's the way it goes around here. Here we go. Angelo. He's lucky. He must be doing uh he must be doing his good deeds. Karma must be turning around. Uh we're gonna continue on and look at this Mark uh the Metene Metene 2022 Bluetooth blood pressure machine. Here we go. Why are we watching this one? Hey, what's going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. If you guys are looking for a new way to monitor your blood pressure, you gotta check out this little system from Atene. You guys can see right here, this is a very simple system. Let me go ahead and show you everything that comes with it. So besides the actual main unit itself, you're going to get some user manuals. Right here, you guys can see, actually, honestly, the paper feels very nice. Continuing on, you are also going to have your blood pressure cuff and you're going to have a little carrying case as well as the charging cable. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to use this. What you want to do is just simply grab this end right here. You are going to push this in Boom. right there. You're going to wrap this around your arm. I will get this on, show you guys how it works. All right, so very simple, guys. All you have to do is just loosen this up. You're going to slide it up onto your arm. You want to go about right here, right above your elbow. Tighten it down pretty good and then you are going to wrap it around, you're good to go. All right, so once it's done reading, you guys are gonna see that it gives you your blood pressure right there. I have 132 over 90, not the greatest, not the worst. So like I said, if you guys have been looking for a new way to monitor your blood pressure, this is definitely gonna be your best bet. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys on the next one. All righty, so I don't know what why that one was a 60 second vertical clip, but if you guys need a new uh, blood pressure monitor, definitely check that one out. We're gonna look at this mystery three-in-one wireless charging stand next. And we are getting closer and closer to the end, chat. We don't have many videos left. No, sir. No, sir. I was Max. It charges just fine. We'll set it on there. And you guys can see that it starts charging my phone. Now, I do not have an Apple Watch, but I imagine it works because I've tested this off camera and it charges both of my devices at the same time. Here are my AirPod Pros. We'll go ahead and set them on there. Now, these are already fully charged, so I have the little green light right there. But this does a great job charging your devices. This is going to be really great for a nightstand at night to charge all of your Apple devices. This is going to be really good if you work from home and you just need your devices charging throughout the day. So if you guys have been looking for something like this, definitely check out this wireless charger from Mystery. And I will see you guys on the next video. Alrighty. That's a lot of stuff to do. That's a lot of stuff to do. So that mystery three in one wireless charger, I don't know if if the entire thing's gonna work for your products, but I imagine at least the phone charging is gonna work regardless. It doesn't have to be iPhone. The only one for sure I know out of all three of the charging ports on there that is gonna be very specific is probably the um the Apple Watch charger. Cause I think they kind of use a proprietary port in a way. Uh, the next product is also by Mystery, but this is a 10 in one. This is a 10 in one. You should twerk every time a product has a better rating than 4.6. No, no. We review quite a few products that have high ratings like that. If I do that, if I do that, then what? Then where do we go now? Where do we go? Wow. I, 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 I. <laughs> nope. 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 Uh, so this is like a 10 in one charging station. It's going to have a ton of USB ports so you can charge all of the devices. All devices can be charged. 
micro USB, and it's just so awesome that they send all of these cables. So let's go ahead and we will go ahead and grab a lightning cable so you guys can see. Very simple to use, there's not a lot to it. We're just gonna go ahead and plug that in. And we have our little charging cable. And I really like that they have these cut to a distance where you don't have excess cable falling off on your desk or your nightstand. We'll go ahead and grab my iPhone real quick. So you guys can see that I have my iPhone in there. And honestly, this does a really good job of holding up my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and set this down so I can get my phone charging. And then you guys can see that right up there, my phone is indeed charging. So this is a really awesome way to have just multiple devices charging at once. Now these obviously don't only have to be devices that run off of these USB-C cables, micro USB or lightning, anything that can plug in via USB-A is going to be compatible with this up to 2.4 amps. So if you guys have been looking for a good, easy way to charge multiple devices at once for whatever reason, definitely check this out for mystery and I'll see you guys on the next video. I almost had to twerk. I almost had to twerk. Uh, Vicky, someone at my post office, uh, well, is, they're all felons. I'm not kidding you. Um, and people steal stuff from my post office all the time. Oh, uh, well, so even though I'm able to get Pokemon cards in my town, I'm also able to get them stolen very easily. Uh, continuing on, we're going to look at the Fi Golf Home Golf Simulator. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Ha! Ah, only four out of five. Four out of five. Eric, you thought. Eric, you thought. But nope. I didn't even have to twerk. Didn't even have to twerk at all. I don't even know how to twerk. Hey, what is it? And this kind of tells you everything you need to know about your swing. So you guys can see right here on the screen, there's a bunch of different data such as club path, face angle, attack angle. And all of this is just really cool because it's gonna help you become a better golfer in real life too. And now we're on the long driving range where you can kind of see how far you can hit it. And I always slice it to the right, but I do that in real life too. So it's not a problem with the game. You guys can see right there, I'm complaining to my wife about uh, not being able to hit it straight. We'll go ahead and try again right here. So let's see how good I do on this one. So I hit it a little bit less hard, but I went a little bit more straight right there and it's really cool. This thing is super responsive. I would say there's maybe like a one second delay into registering your swing, but after that, it's really cool. And now we're on a full course. This Fi Golf app does have a ton of real life courses. You guys can see right here, all you have to do is address it to get it started. It will say ready out loud and then you are good to swing. So right here, let's see how good I can get close to this T. Thanks for watching. Are you talking about like the outro, this? There you go. Well, it, it does come with a it does come with a wrist strap. It does come with a wrist strap. And you guys know I'm super strong, right there. I just didn't want to intimidate you guys. Oh no! So now we're gonna go ahead and putt. Oh no! Oh no! No! Uh, no, I'm just kidding. You guys have seen enough of it. You guys have seen it before. If you guys need a new golf simulator, definitely check it out. But yeah, to everyone talking about shipping, I'll show you guys something. Just this is just an example. So I don't want to show you guys, I don't want to show you guys any address, but here's an example of something that it, it gets returned. It, it gets returned back to me all the time. Uh, products or stuff I ship gets returned back to me all the time. Here's just an example. I just shipped this out last week. Uh, and this is one of the messages I get a lot. Return to sender, no mail receptacle, unable to forward, return to sender. I get that one a lot, even if like the address is completely correct. Um, sometimes I never get an update uh, at all. So I have tracking numbers for all of your packages. I can send you tracking numbers. Um, a lot of them are just going to show label created, awaiting USPS um, 
pick up. They they pick it up and then it disappears. Uh, I've had, yeah, it's 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 been rough. It it sucks. And the only other option I have is UPS scheduling a pickup. Well, no, I mean, if literally, I don't have anything. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> stealing Gengar is a sign of meth addiction. I think just stealing is a sign of meth addiction. Uh, and that's the, that's a number I get a lot too. Ninety eight. I get ninety eight a lot for some reason. I don't know, chat. I'm I'm sorry if you haven't gotten your stuff. I can always call and go up there. It hasn't ever really it hasn't ever really resolved much, but yeah. Let's see. This uh, Quin ear massage deep tissue percussion muscle massager is up next. Let me highlight it in the carousel. Let me highlight it in the carousel. Let's see uh, the rating here. Oh, wait. I highlighted the wrong one. Let me go back. What the heck? I keep clicking. How am I doing that? How am I messing up this bad? There we go. Let's see the ratings. How do you twerk? How does one twerk? David taught me. David taught me how to twerk. You got to put your hands on, and then you got to go like this, and then in. Ow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a muscle, dude. Don't let, don't make me do this. Ow. No, so let's be real. We've all seen twerking before. There's a big difference between hunching your back like this and making your butt go up and down. You have to have, you have to have a butt to be able to make your butt move. That's just me going boom, boom, boom. That's me looking like I'm seizing. <laughs> it looks like me, I don't know, having a stroke or something. You have to have a butt for it to move. Well, this isn't it, but you know what I mean. That old man face after was worth it. That's fine. That's what she said, by the way. That's what she said. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Quin Ear Percussion Muscle Massager. It has a ton of features, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed and jump right in. Okay, so we got everything completely unboxed, and me. as you can see here, it does come installing one of these several included heads is very simple on this machine. All you have to do, like you saw there, is basically just push it in. It won't make a locking sound, but once it's in, you'll know that, and you can go ahead and get this thing going. Now, let's go ahead and test this out. This is a really nice massage gun. It has a ton of power. It's built super well. It's one of the more quiet massage guns that I have used, and as you guys can see here, it does have a ton of power. It is shaking my whole entire hand, but you guys will obviously find which one works for you the best and which attachment head you like. So, so if you guys have been looking for a new massage gun, I highly recommend this one. It's at a great price. It's built really well, and it comes with a ton of awesome built-in features and a ton of awesome attachment heads. So if you've been looking for one, like I said before, go ahead and check this one out from Quinier, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, Okay, yeah, Vicky took it too far. Vicky too, took it too far. But you guys want to see a really cool trick? Watch how fast I can flick a dime. Pretty cool, right? And I can aim it. Uh, Gesundheit. Uh, the next product is a Quinier neck massager. Uh, it only has three stars, so I'm happy that I don't have to twerk again. Mm -hmm. Don't make me break my neck. Oh, chat! It is almost lunchtime. How do? How does? How does? How does chat feel about lunch? What are we feeling for lunch today, chat? What are we doing for lunch? Hey, look. The day in the life. Don't don't make Nate have a cramp. The day in the life of your brain, Nate. The day. I don't think you guys would survive a day in the life of my head. I don't think you would. Let's be real. We're going to be taking a look at the 
not even kidding you guys. It's making me so tired. So sleepy. Yeah, that's nice, guys. I'm serious. Wow. All right, let's see if we can't figure out the heating element while I'm just sitting here and you guys are just watching me. Let me see if I can't figure out the heating element real quick. It's it's going all up and down my neck, not into my head obviously. It's not it's not electrocuting my brain, but it's going up into those neck muscles that attach to your skull. Oh my Justin, get this right now. I'm serious, dude. Justin. This is incredible right on the back of my neck. That feels incredible. That feels so crazy. Yep. I can literally just feel like the pressure from my neck just releasing. <laughs> Look at me trying to... Why, why is my face so red? Has my face been red like this the whole stream chat? A young tater. Streamception. Nope. Streamception. Streamception. Yeah, my face has been red today. What the heck? What the heck? Uh, let's see what's next. No, that that neck massager does work really nice. But what a nerd, right? I can literally feel the pressure releasing from my neck right now. <laughs> like you, come on, dude. <laughs> I can feel the pressure releasing from my neck as we speak. Really? That's that that's really? Really? I slap you because I like you, Nate. That doesn't well. Stop it. Get some help. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Uh the Turbro T oh, this is nice. You guys haven't seen this in a long time. You haven't seen this in a long time. Check this out. Uh, this is the Turbro Suburbs. So if you guys want to... Look here, see. You want to be a suburban family? Suburban family? Uh, check out this TS20 electric fireplace. I haven't played this in a while, but it is starting... It is starting to get a little bit colder out now. It is starting to get a little bit chillier, so we might kind of be moving back into stuff like this again. I'm like a homeless person on the side of the road. It's a choice. I made it. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Turbro Suburbs TS20 electric fireplace. Let's go ahead and get it unboxed first. And while we're getting it unboxed, let's talk about some of the general specs. The TS20 is an infrared heater that has a realistic dancing flame effect. It's CSA certified. It has overheating safety protection, 20 inches tall, and it runs at about 1,400 watts. So everything that you're going to get with this is you're going to get a user manual, a safety manual. You're going to get the screws and the hardware. This is what you want to do is line up one of the screws first and then the other two for said leg will line up with it. And once you get this thing built, honestly, it looks super, super nice. I really love the yeah. matte black finish that they have on this. And it just looks very clean and simplistic with the chrome accents and the black and the glass. Hey. It all looks really clean and ties together really well. When you open up the inside, you're going to see here that you have these fake logs in the back projector screen where the dancing flame effects are going to be activated. That sound. Like and that. honestly, the whole build is very, very sturdy. The door opens up and it doesn't wiggle the whole thing. And it also sits very level and it doesn't move around if you were adjusting the temperature or moving it around or anything like that. And the glass feels pretty thick, so I don't really think there's going to be an issue with breaking. Nope, no issues. So opening up the panel, you're going to notice here that you're going to have two switches. One is going to be the main power switch that also controls the lighting. That has to be on for everything to work. And then the other one is going to control the temperature. The TS20 can reach temperatures of up to 96 degrees Fahrenheit and as low as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll go ahead and flip this on and let you get a little sneak peek of what the dancing flames look like. And I honestly think it does look really nice. And even the logs kind of glow a little bit, which is a nice added effect. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. What we're going to do is go ahead and switch on the heat source power switch. And we're going to turn this up to about 72 or 73 degrees. 
I just turned this on about five seconds ago, and as you can see here, it's already heated up pretty quickly, and it has a nice fan airflow. On the front, one thing I wanted to mention is how nice this suburb logo looks. I think it looks really clean and adds a nice touch to the design. And here's a little bit more of just the dancing flame effect in a dark room. It's very relaxing and very soothing. So if you guys want to check out the TS-20, you've been looking to get yourself an electric fireplace, I highly recommend this one. It's awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day. Eric, I just checked out that clip. I didn't know this and I'm surprised none of you guys told me, but I'm thick. I'm out here. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at this Vaunt Smart Body Scale. Before before I can do any more destruction, let's check a look at this. Check a look at this. <laughs> All right, now I started off this stream like this. I started off like this, chat. This was the trajectory I was on. About now, right now, it's doing this. Let's be real. Let's be real. Just I I guess this is just a. It's a gift and a curse. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nathana with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this scale. Now, this scale is not just your average run-of-the-mill scale. This scale has a ton of built-in features. As you can see through these electrodes right here, you're able to get a lot of data on your current health. So let's go ahead and get this thing going and show you guys what it does. So obviously, this scale is going to function as a normal scale. You do need to have it on a flat, hard surface in order for it to work. And as you guys can see right here, it does have my weight. I know I need to go to the gym. But if you pair this with the app and then you basically take off your socks so it can read some of that data... Whenever you step on this, it's going to give you a ton of data about your health. It does take a little bit longer than the average weighing cycle, but once you have that, you're going to see right here on the Vaunt Home Smart app, which is free, it's going to give you all of this different data right here, such as your protein levels. And each one of these are expandable, so you can see more information on it and healthy levels you should be at. So as you can see right here, I am at a normal level of protein levels, and you have a ton of other features in here, as such as a trend feature that'll show you your weight gain or weight loss muscle mass everything is built into this app and it is super easy and user friendly so if you guys have been looking for a new scale and you guys are on a fitness journey i highly recommend this one from vaunt home yeah chat i highly recommend it yeah i'm like super i'm like super skinny now what's up chat i even got abs Boom. All right, so if that didn't scare you too much and you're still here. That's how I yawn now. Get over it. All right, so we got like three products left. We're going to look at this Weeby Top Charging Nightstand up next. It's very nice. It's very nice. Hey, I'm hidden. I'm unhidden. I've had this for over, it's got to be over a year now. You sound like you're being attacked when you yawn. Listen, I've been in situations, okay? Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger and today I wanted to showcase to you guys the NST1 nightstand from Weeby Top. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Weeby Top more in detail and see some of the features and benefits that it provides. One of the first things that I'm going to tell you guys about is that this nightstand comes in black or white. As you see here, we have the white version of it. It also has built-in Bluetooth speakers, which we will be testing on later in the video. On the front panel here, you'll see that you have two regular three-prong outlets, and then you'll also have two USB ports. 
On the top, you will also have wireless charging. And then underneath, you have a light that will automatically turn on when it recognizes motion. Installing the feet on this is really easy. Locate this at the bottom. You're going to take one of the legs and you're simply just going to screw it in. Vicky, look at Discord. <laughs> Vicky, look at Discord. Tell, I just saw that joke. I just saw that joke. Tell me that's not... Ooh. Tell me that joke's not... Oh my gosh. This would be the only assembly required. This nightstand also has a wood grain texture on it that I think makes the nightstand stand out. And on the front panel of the NST-1, it has this brushed aluminum look over the face. What's up, Shell B325 Skunk Heart? Face play, and I think that also makes this nightstand look very nice. And under the front panel of the NST-1, you have this little storage area, which actually perfectly fits my 15.6 inch laptop. But you guys could obviously use this for whatever you see fit. Being that there are features with this nightstand that require power, it does have a standard three-prong power adapter that you will need to plug in in order to utilize all of those features. So let's go ahead and get this nightstand set next to my bed. I'm sitting it next to my bed. My bed isn't very high, but as you can see, it does sit a little bit lower, so just take that into consideration. We'll go ahead and test out the wireless charging. And as you see here, it works. My favorite feature easily of this nightstand is whenever you step down on the ground in the middle of the night, it'll automatically shine this light on the ground. This is going to be great for me whenever I wake up at 3 a.m. to go get Oreos. As I said earlier, there are normal plugins and USB plugins in the front. Now, these are going to work independently of the power button, so you don't need to have the power button turned on. That is right here. But in order to get the speakers and the light underneath to work... All right, stop talking, Nate. Stop talking. Your monotone. Nobody wants to hear your voice. About half volume, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and take a listen. A puppy. Very good puppies, too. Very good puppies. Uh, Eric, we will read on Wednesday, my friend. We will read on Wednesday. Let's see, chat. Let's see. The Yadea electric scooter is up next. Tubat. Very nice. This is a nice electric scooter. So there's going to be a part in this video that I don't want you guys to get intimidated by. But seriously, everybody. Uh, I apologize if I intimidate you guys in this video. There's a part where I take it off of a sweet jump and I get like five feet of air. You'll see. Like, it's proven, five feet of air. You really make me wait till Wednesday. Did you read last week? I did not read last week because you weren't there anymore at the end of the stream. Or something happened. I can't remember. I had to quit early. What happened? What was it? I don't remember. But like I said, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this thing off of a sweet jump in this video. So if you get nervous, let me know. I'll stop the video. What's going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this really fun electric scooter from Yadea. Yadea recently sent me the KS3 Lite, and I have been having a ton of fun with it. This is a super fun and easy to use electric scooter. Let's jump in and take a look at all of its features. You have this nice screen right here on the front that's going to display all your information. You're going to have a single brake system. You're going to have the locking mechanism. And as you guys can see right there, you have a little bell. Now the throttle is going to be over here on the right, but one of the things that you're going to want to make sure you do is download the app. 
because the app is going to give you a ton of accessibility features such as firmware updates. You can set the mode that starts whenever you turn this on. You're able to update your personal information, change the light settings. You can lock the scooter so no one can move it, but you guys don't want to hear about that. Let's just go ahead and get this thing into gear and show you guys what you can do with the KS3 Lite. So there are three different modes on the KS3 Lite whenever it comes to speed. The first one is called walk. And as you guys can see right here, there's a reason it's called walk because this is a very slow pace. The next mode is very standard. It is going to be called your drive mode. And All right, chat. So here coming up soon is going to be the part. Here, can, here coming up soon is going to be the part of the, um, where I take it off with a sweet jump. So if you're easily spooked, look away. And as you guys can see, I'm going by pretty fast. Now the most fun mode for me personally is sport mode. And if you guys take a look right here, you guys can do awesome tricks on sport mode, such as sit down. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. If we continue on, you guys are also able to take this thing off of sweet jumps. Now I need to slow that down in ultra slow motion because I don't think you guys really saw how much airtime I got. I was estimating roughly around three feet in height, but you guys see that there's text on the screen right now that says five feet. So we'll go ahead and say that that's true. And the shocks on this are a little bit rough, but they're not so bad that it's unacceptable. So if you guys are looking for a new electric scooter, I highly recommend you checking out the Adea KS3 Lite. It's been a blast. It's super easy to get set up. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger, and I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys saw I got five feet of air there, right? Five feet of air. Uh, big shout out to you, Daya, for making an awesome scooter and sending it to me to do a review. If you guys want an electric scooter, you know what to do. Click that link. Click that link. Uh, let me see. There is a 40 random. There's a $43 clickable coupon on this scooter today. 43 random price, but it's there. Nate, send me your jerky. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Jerk. And I stay geeked up. All right, so the top in Steam Op is the last product in two days. Okay, we're about to sell. And then that's it. And then that's all she wrote. And then that'll be all she wrote, my friends. Bada boom, bada bang, gotta do my thing. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. Yeah. Absolutely. We're not watching. Oh my gosh, he's screaming. I'm not watching the whole thing. Here we go. I mean, like really hot. So ab actually, after it kind of gets going, is that what my voice sounds like now? Actually, really hot. Is that what I sound like, chat? Actually, really hot. Actually, when it gets going. Is that what my voice sounds like? Tell me my voice doesn't sound like that. You see the steam a little bit less after it gets the airflow moving. But this is great, especially with all these attachments like this scraper. This is going to make it super easy to like clean like your baseboard, your kitchen, your tiles, anything like that. And the fact, there we go. Now it's really going. As you can see right there. And that's super hot. I mean, I can't keep my hand there for too long. Yeah. Like I'm an airbender, like Avatar. <laughs> I mean, it's super, super hot, yeah. Pop culture reference. <laughs> That's it for today's stream chat. When you speak, you have a lazy tongue. It sounds like dropping marbles into pudding. Right now I do? I have a lazy tongue? You were so young back then. Faustino, I was born at a really young age, so... I've always been young. You know, I was born at a very young age, so it's just <laughs> it's stupid. It's it's such a that's such a dumb slap knee joke. Uh that's it for today's stream. Hey, listen, Eric. We are going to listen, Eric. I got you. On Monday, on Wednesday, if you're here on Wednesday, we will read as much as you want, and I will make it as ASMR as you want. All right. I'll make it ASMR. Nate, when can we get another late, late, late show? The last time we did a late, 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 late show, you fell asleep.
And then you woke back up like two hours later and you're like, sorry, fell asleep. LOL. <laughs> Lol. That's what like. You guys thought I was muted. Boom. You thought, you thought I wasn't even muted. I wasn't even muted the whole time. <laughs> Eric, you're lying. You're a liar, liar, pants for hire. Ah, yep. That is it for today's stream. Um, Eric, we will do readings on Wednesday. Play some video games on Wednesday. Now, I don't know. Blake kind of... I got to be real here. Blake abandoned me. He abandoned me on last Wednesday's stream. And then I didn't even play Pokemon. Or, I mean, I, then I didn't even play... Uh, Minecraft. No, I'm saying last Wednesday, whenever we were supposed... when Whenever we were supposed to play Minecraft, you abandoned me in my time of need. You left me. Wow, see? All right, chat, but that's going to be it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If any of the products in the carousel interested you, were inter was interesting to you, you guys know what to do. You guys know what to do if you're new here and you want to come back and be completely confused the entire time through this ethereal experience, hit the follow button. Uh, Other than that, that's, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. I appreciate you guys being here. I'll see you guys again tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, giveaways are done. Yep, later.